<laughs> Got about 25 minutes before auction time, guys. Thought we'd go ahead and get on a little bit early, get the stream going, get everybody on here. But we're about 25 minutes away from auction time. We got the Wheel of Whitney tonight. Load it down. $100 in Uncle Jed Bucks. $25, $20. Uh, excuse me, I got to get the phone. Hello. But we are 25 minutes away. Bring on the Star Wars. We are going to mix some Star Wars in tonight. <laughs> we are. We should have a pretty good crowd tonight. Uh, got a few little things I got to do outside real quick, but I thought I'd go ahead and go live. Trying not show all them boxes of stuff we've got back there just completely covered up. But we're going to have a pretty decent auction tonight. Tony Brown, I don't think I don't think I've got any power tools, but I've got sockets, ratchets, more of that kind of stuff, toolboxes. Uh, see, so I do have a few little nice. Not nothing to write home about. Not no super good nice. No. Hey, Jody. But you don't ever know what we'll find. Uh, we got a little, some bigger items too. It's like some DVD holders and some uh, end tables that are like Egyptian end tables with a glass top. They're pretty cool. Uh, I've got some like uh, bar stools that's got like a wicker top on them. <laughs> Yeah, I see. So I don't think I've got uh, anything uh, that you'd be really be interested in. I looking over, I see about four nice, and they're not really much punkin' to me. I mean, I hate to put my own stuff down, but they're not. But should be. Oh, we do have this fillet knife, Cecil. I found, India found that actually. I got a big fillet knife. It's pretty cool. It's made by Kershaw. That's pretty cool. You might like that, Cecil. Uh, no, uh, matter of fact, I'm trying to find my air compressor. It's, uh, it's got gone. It's got gone. Uh, I had a pancake compressor and I think somebody got it. I do have a little bitty air compressor just where you plug into a, a thing. Not nothing like what you'd be looking for, Tony. Well, Randy, I star war Randy. I am, I'm at a loss when it comes to star war items. Uh, I haven't even watched the movie Star Wars. So I, all I can say is Star Wars. I know there'll be some micro machines, and I know you don't like that. But I think I do got some of the Black Series left and some of the bigger items I think that you'd like, Randy. I think. But we're about 20 minutes away. No, we, we've lost ours, Tony. I thought you just like getting the hose on yours. If not, somebody's got it too, Tony. Yeah, my red pancake one's gone too, Tony. Yeah, I thought you had picked that. I guess it's still up at the manchild then, Tony. That's where it's still at.
Yeah, hopefully we'll get some units with a lot of compressors and tools and stuff like it. We ain't got one in a long time, Tony. We're we're due one, but bad thing about it is we're really not supposed to go out of the state of Kentucky to get units. Good deal, Sandy. Yeah, Tony, we used a foot pump. We used a, we may have Tony. We used a foot pump to uh, pump up our tar on our uh, riding lawnmower the other day, Tony. You told about making you tar. But anyway, I've got some things I got to do outside. We will be back here in just a little bit.
<laughs> All right, guys, we've got nine minutes to auction time. Nine minutes, guys. Ugh. It's cold. Like it. Hope it's nice and warm where you guys are at. We only got 24 people watching. Where's everybody at? We still got eight minutes to go, though. We'll do another share. Find you what? I had to go to subscribe again to find you online. Oh, it's, it's doing that same thing? Yeah. I believe so. Did anybody else get a notice or having trouble finding us? India said she had to go to uh to subscribe to find us again. They've done that one last Tuesday. Our first Star Wars. Oh, I just locked that too. Who is it? I don't know. Uh, Judy, uh, Jody, Judy, Jody said she got a notice. See, you're not showing up on the front page. Not showing up on her. No, it still ain't showing up, is it? Uh -uh. They're back on that shelf back there. Hey, Tammy. Uh, Brenda said she didn't get one. Dana said that some people's getting them, some some's not. I don't know if you guys remember. On uh, I think it was our, when we started selling the Star, Star Wars, uh, nobody was getting notices, and we didn't have hardly nobody on there. That was the yeah, that was the night. Mm -hmm. It was a Tuesday night too, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's have some big winners on that wheel tonight. We've got a hundred dollar Uncle Jed. Hey, remember if you've got Uncle Jed bucks and. A lot of people that won them probably done not use them up. But I'm just reminding you, if you got them from uh, two auctions ago, you need to use them up tonight. $100 on there, 25 220s. We still got the Dutch oven, the big Lodge Dutch oven prize that we need to give away. Darlene's saying she didn't get a notice. Is Darlene the one who tried to run over me the other day? Yes, I believe so. Yesterday. Darlene, are you the one that tried to run over me in Save a Lot parking lot yesterday? Uh -huh. Was that Darlene that done that? I believe so. I'm waiting for her to answer me. Buffering Charles said bad. they're buffering bad. They're all saying it's buffering bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what we use. Chrome. That wasn't Darlene Manning. What is her name? I got you mixed up with somebody else. What is the, what is the lady's name? Charles and Becky that came with Barbara Cox. What is her name, Becky? She hangs around with Tim Copas and Barbara Cox. Um, I got you mixed up, Darlene, I guess. Donna Dinwiddie. Donna Dinwiddie. That's who it was. <laughs> She's the one that tried. Donna, are you on here? You're the one that tried to run over me at Save a Lot parking lot. She was trying to take Uncle Jed out, her and Barbara Cox. And I think Timothy Copas might have been behind it too, but he wasn't in the vehicle. Hmm. But he was fixing them. Uh, what was it? He, they said they, that he was fixing a big meatloaf. And uh, Timmy said, I'll, I'll, if y'all run over Uncle Jed, I'll get y'all a piece of meatloaf. And that's what Don and Barbara was trying to do. Get them some out there meatloaf that Tim Copas was fixing. It must be some pretty dang good meatloaf to run over Uncle Jed for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think neither three of them's watching. I got I got Darlene mixed up with Donna somewhere or another. I don't know how I did that. It's good now. It's good now, they're saying.
I'll tempt your buddy too. Did you get some of his meatloaf too? He must make some killer meatloaf. That's what uh, Donna and uh, uh, Barbara both was heading to get some of, I think. Give me that peppermint. Was there a piece of peppermint over there? Uh, you done ate one of them. Oh, you did? You did. I did. Yeah. I got some Jolly Ranchers. I bought a big jug of peppermints. We're at the three house. minutes away. Yeah, those peppermints at the house. Yeah. Uh, I was needing a peppermint. I got some now or later. Now or later. You want it now or later? <laughs> later. There, there, there was some money somewhere. Oh, yeah. He's swapping them out. You need the one with the E on it. <laughs> Brenda said she went to get her free taco and they would not give one for her cat. They should have. Free taco? I missed out on that one. Danny must have been talking to somebody else. He said, he said something about a miniature Reese's Pie, so he must have been talking Danny are you on another auction show talking to other people are you cheating on me Danny <laughs> not on mute all right guys we're about ready to get this auction started one of these days y'all gonna see Uncle Jed in one of these I mean not one of these small ones one, one of the, the big scale size one here. Like that one. It's got a what's it do, you reckon? I think it just lights up. That's all lights. I got it oh, do. it's got a battery in That's it. That's all I got it to do. I took oh, the did batteries it light out. Up. You took the batteries yep. out. But it does light up. Yep. The it lights up. lights light up, and then these three on the outside. We're one minute away from auction time, but this will be our first item up this die cast uh uh That's a Lincoln Navigator. Lincoln Navigator, uh what do you call them? Limo. Limos. And it does light. What lights up these lights here? Yeah, and the interior lights. And the interior lights up when you put batteries in. India had batteries in it. Sander, glad you're okay. Uh, Sander's neck of the woods down there. They went through a terrible tornado down there. I saw some of uh, Sander's uh, videos and pictures and stuff, and some other people's videos and pictures. And our prayers goes out to all them that. Uh, had to endure, a, I think it was a mile-wide tor tornado. Uh, stayed on the ground a long time. I think that's what Sandra was saying. But we're glad they're okay. Sorry, Danny, about that. <laughs> we, we actually uh, cheated on everybody. Uh, we went to... Uh, 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 Lisa Young and her husband's auction last Monday night, and we actually got the package in the middle of the day. I've not even opened it yet. Hey, Rhonda, how's everything going? All right, let's get the auction started tonight, guy. Only three, only 53 people watching, but we'll get some more. Yes, 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 Sander. Uh, I saw one picture where the family had like a concrete closet, uh, cinder blocks, and they, they all four, I think, got in it. All four of them got in it, and uh, when they came out, their whole house was just nothing but a concrete pad there. Mm -mm -mm. The only thing that was left was that uh, cinder block, which they had doubled as a closet when they wasn't using it. But that was the only thing left, and that's what saved their lives. <coughs> Plus the good Lord. All right, got a diecast uh, Lincoln Navigator. Uh, limousine. Limousine. Why come I can't think of that word, limousine? <laughs> What's that license plate say? Players. Player. Players. Pretty nice here. It does take batteries, and it lights up. 
these all light up and the interior light lights up. It is die cast. Pretty nice little deal right here. And I've already got the bids going. I got Kevin in at three. Uh, Eric at four. Sammy at six. Six dollar bid. Would you go seven? Six, seven. Six dollar bid. Would you go seven? Nice looking ride right there, guys. Because they're going to put me in the movies. They're going to make a big star out of me. Won't you come and see me in this limousine? And all I got to do is act naturally. I'm at $6, guys. Got to go. Where's the... Got Christy and Ricky down here staying six foot apart away from us, helping us tonight. They're working, guys. They're working. I got Eric in, Eric Bushman. What was it I used to call Bushman? I'd call him Bachman, wasn't it? Because I couldn't. <laughs> I he said, it's not Bachman, it's Bushman. <laughs> All right, we're at eight, nine, eight dollar bid. Would he go nine? Eight dollar bid. Would he go nine? Eight, nine. Eight dollar bid. Would he go nine on the limousine right there? Well worth that. Eight dollar bid. Would he go nine? Eight, nine. Eight dollar bid. Nine. Got nine. Now 10, guys. Got to go. Nine dollar bid. Would he go 10. Got 10. Yeah. Now 12 and a half. Those of you who don't know, once we get to 10, the bidding increments are two dollars and a half. So we're at 10, 12 and a half. Ten dollar bid would you go 12 and a half. Next bid would be 12 and a half or higher. Ten dollar bid would you go 12. If it was me, I'd bid like 13 dollars and three cents just to mess everybody up, mess Uncle Jed up from doing his counting. I got 10, 12. I would. <laughs> 10, 12 and a half. Ten dollar bid would you go. Got 12 and a half. Now 15. 12 and a half would you go 15 on the limousine. Pretty looking thing there. Put some batteries in it, light it up. 12 and a half, would you go 15? 12 and a half, would you go 15? Honey, I strunk the kids. I'm going to have one of these, a, a big, nice ride. I'm going to come around and see, see everybody. I'm going to pull up to your house and eat supper with y'all. Thought I said going to bring y'all a prize. <laughs> I'm going to come and eat supper with y'all. I'm at 12 and a half. Got to go. 12 and a half, you go 15. Sold them out. 12 and a half. Going to Eric Bushman. Eric Bushman. All right, let's just keep it over here, guys. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to sell the big mouse trap, guys. I don't know what kind of rats you got in your neck of the woods, but uh, we used to have some pretty big rats around here at Scottsville. And uh, we moved up a little bit in the world where we ain't got rats. We just got little bitty mice now. And uh, so we don't need this no more. We're going to sell it. If you got a rat in your house, this will take care of it. <laughs> Snitches don't get stitches, they get big rat traps. Around Scotland. On the big rat trap. And you can play a game with it if you want to. I've seen several people play games with it on the internet. You see that video where that guy's going like this, trying yep. to get it out. Yep. All right, on the big rat trap. The only one I got. I got three, four, three dollars. Would you go four, three, four? I think that thing probably cost ten dollars that big, wouldn't it? I'm at three, four, three dollar bid. Would you go four, three, four, three dollar? Gail yeah, said so will a divorce. <laughs> three, four. Oh, this could be a reminder for you, Gail, of what happens. Three, four, three dollar bid. Would you go four, three, four? Got to go three, four. <laughs> I think this will be the first rat trap that I've ever sold. Yep. Do you want me to sign it, Bubba? <laughs> oh, <Jay. laughs> three, four, three dollar bid. Go four. Got to go. Got any bids? Three, four. Sold it. Three dollars, Kevin Harrison. <laughs> Going and out of here. All right. And we do have some more sockets tonight that we're going to be selling, but we're going to move with some of this stuff that I've, I've not sold. Let's go ahead and sell another set of these. We're gonna. We got another set that's different. These are the, the horse. India's got the donkey, and uh, the Thai uh, elephant. With what's that one called? The other night it was lefty and righty. What's these two called? Uh, this one is. Hey, Hidden, how's it going, brother? We're doing great. Hey, Connie. Hey, Lisa Young. Uh, I can't see what that's Lefty, 2004. Okay, this would be righty okay. then. We're going to do choice on them again tonight, guys. Oh, shoot, let's just keep them together. Sell both of them. We're going to sell both of them. They both got the tags. You're getting both of them for one money. 
Lefty and righty, 2000, you say? 2004. 2004, lefty and righty. And they do have the tags with the plastic thing on there. And while India's holding them, we'll go ahead and be grabbing the next item. Mm -hmm. They both have the flags on the butts. Three with Becky Taylor. Five with Dana. Hidden wants the elephant. We gotta send we gotta send him an elephant sometime or another. I think I told him I would here. Uh, as soon as I get an elephant, we're gonna send him an elephant. We're at five, seven and a half. I dollar be able to get them both of them for one money. It's not choice. You're getting lefty and righty. The other night, Charles Tilson. Y'all didn't think I'd remember that. Bought both of them. Paid a lot more than that. But we're at five, seven and a half. You're getting both of them. You're not getting one times. Uh, choice you're getting both of them for well, one money. I'm at six, seven, six dollar beauty. Go seven, six, seven, and I gotta go, seven guys. And a half. That's Dana. seven and a half now. Ten, seven and a half to go. Ten, seven and a half to go. Ten. Next bid will be eight and a half, but you could go ten, seven and a half to go. Ten, well worth that. Both of them in great shape. And I got eight van is coming in late. Uh, I got take eight. I'll count it to eight and a half. I got Kevin in at eight ten, and a half. Dana. Got ten now, twelve and a half. Ten dollar bill to go, twelve and a half. Ten, twelve and a half. When they do that, we just go ahead and count it. You know, I got ten, twelve and a half. They said the other night some of these are worth pretty good money. Hey, Gary, I got ten, twelve and a half. Ten dollar bill to go, twelve and a half. Ten, twelve. Becky, remind me to take care of hidden on the elephant. Now I got twelve and a half, fifteen. Twelve and a half would he go fifteen. Twelve and a half would he go fifteen. Got twelve and a half would he go fifteen. Going once. I got twelve and a half would he go fifteen. Guys, you're getting both of them for one money. Uh, what better deal could you ask for tonight on Uncle Jed's auction shed live Tuesday night program? Twelve and a half would he go ten. Twelve. I'm <laughs> going backwards. Twelve and a half would he go fifteen. That would be a heck of a deal there. Going backwards. Twelve and a half would he go fifteen. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Bam, 12 and a half sold to Kevin Harris. Guys, you're not, we got, if you want to send somebody cookies or something like that, we got two pack round gift tins. There's, there's a small one in there. We're not going to open them up. We're going to sell you both of these for one money. That's all we got. So you're actually two getting in each. Four right? tins. You're getting four there's tins. There's a smaller one inside. There's a smaller one inside. All right. Uh, the big one's eight and a half, and then the median seven and a half. About an inch smaller. But you are getting both of these. They're, they're shrink-wrapped, and you can put cookies in them, candies, stuff like that. You can put sewing notions in there, anything yeah. you want. But you are getting two of them for one money. So it'd be actually four tens, two eight-and-a-halfs and two seven-and-a-halfs. Somebody started in at five, and let's go. $5 be what you go five. 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 Be great for putting stuff up, guys. You're getting all both sets of tens. Sewing stuff would be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Sewing. You can put a lot of different things in there. Buttons. And not getting no bids on them right now. Got our shrink wrap, brand new. Never been used. Set Still it in, in the test, two and a half, wherever y'all want to go with them. Three, but I got three, four, three dollar video, four, three, four. Three, four. That'd be one of the money items you get to spend the wheel to be a chip at least. Three, four, three dollar bid to go four, three, four, three dollar bid to go four. Gotta go, guys. Waited too long to get a bid. Both of them. Three dollars. Oh, somebody else came in, didn't he? Oh, sorry, Sammy, Mo. Oh, they came in too late. Sorry, guys. We waited a long time to get a bid. All right. Now we've got uh, some wood paddle bits. Whole set of them. Sorry, Mildred and Sammy. Three-eighths to one inch. And Danny, too. Danny came in there. And we're watching your phone because it's a little bit ahead of my monitor up here. So we waited a long time, guys. These are brand new. Brand new. Yeah, they're nice. Brand new. I got... I got five, ten, five dollar beauty go ten, five, ten. I got eight, ten, eight dollar beauty go ten, eight, ten, eight dollar beauty go ten, eight, ten, eight dollar beauty go ten. Nine, got nine now, ten. 
Nine now, ten. Nine dollar view, would you go? Ten, nine, ten. ten. Got ten, twelve and a half. Got ten first with Diane, Sammy. Damn twelve and a half. Diane Mahaney's in at ten. Ten thirty nine. I never seen them look gold like that, though. You think they're for metal? They were in with all the tools. Hey, Bill, when you metal. put Detective uh, Uncle Jed on the job, we get it done. Twelve and a half, Mike. We had to search all the way in Texas, San Antonio, but we got it, Bill. I was glad to. That was an expensive box, Bill, because you had all them coins in it. You had all them cars. We're talking probably $400. Diane, 15 So I was glad to, Bill, because I was going to have to refund that much. <laughs> but we was glad because I know you wanted the items. I'm at 15, now 17 and a half. Had Barry at 12 and a half, and Mike too, now 17 and a half. Yeah. Mike is out. Thank Let you us know bits. when they get their uh, bill. I think Bernard said he was going to ship them Monday for us. Barry is out. Thank you for All your right. bids. We're gone then. It's pretty nice. Who got it? Who got it? Diamond Haney, 15. Oh, Woo! first penny item of the night is won by who'd you say, Diane Mahaney? That item, instead of $15, that item is only going to cost Diane one penny. One penny. So, congratulations to Diane Mahaney winning the first penny item of the night. Congratulations, and that also qualifies her for a chip. What item number was that? Number that was five. item number five, so it gets rolled on a chip, gets put down in there, so she might even get a spin the wheel on that item. So you don't know when we're going to have penny items. It could come up any time, not just on 2 or $3 items. <coughs> could be on some higher-priced items. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, that's my cigarette cough, guys. It's not cold. <laughs> so that little Coca-Cola, man. I found that uh, earlier today in a box back there. I like that. Mama's going to sell this right here. That's pretty neat. A uh, little Coca Cola van. Die cast. She woke up and took me by the hand. We made love in her Chevy van, and that's all right with me. Like a picture she was laying there. It's got a bubble. Moonlight inside. dancing all for her. She woke no. up and took me by the hand. What is that? Sammy Kershaw? Uh, Chevy no. van? No. What is Not that? Kershaw. Sammy, uh, something. I'm at six with John Driver. I like that song. I do too. It's yeah, it's a nice one. I like it. It's got a good melody and everything. Yeah. I'm at six, seven, six dollar bid on the, what is that, 1971, Mama? I don't think it has a year on it. It says 1971, or that was number 97. That was right, right there. That's the address. What's that? What's that right there? That's the address. Oh, the address. Uh, anyway, distributed by Hartoy. H A R T O Y. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Coca Cola. Sammy Seven. Diecast. That's a card show. Yep. Well, everybody's at home. They need one of these. Does it shuffle two decks? I think it does. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, ain't it? Seven Sammy. Next thing John coming up, out. guys, we've got an automatic card show for a lot of people's playing cards at home with their kids. And, you know, y'all pulling out the chip poker chips and you and your eight, nine year old kids, y'all sitting there and you got your cigars in your mouth and your hats on. And you shuffle up and deal. <laughs> and you, and you, and you eight year old saying, all in, dad, all in. Five or six decks easy. Yeah, that's what this does. Shuffles a lot of different decks, don't it? But that's what's coming up next, guys. We ain't got no batteries in it. Yeah, it takes two sets of batteries. Great yeah. Pretty neat. And we're at seven. Sold it. Seven dollars. Sammy, congratulations, Sammy. He's buying that good deal there. Now we've got the card shuffler. Mama can show you that. What size batteries does it take? I think triple. Looks like double C's? A's. Double no, A's. that's deep. Uh, C's or probably D's? C's. Looks like C batteries. Sammy Johns, that's who it was, Rosetta. That's who it was. 
Sammy Jones. Sammy Jones. Where'd I get Sammy Kershaw? He's a country singer. Yeah, he's country. Don't know he's where I got Sammy that hat. Thank you, Rosetta. I have a John. But y'all remember the Chevy vans, don't mm-hmm. you? And the vans where they had the shag carpet and the beds in them. And, Rick uh, Trader. Had everything. Everybody thought they were so cool. I did, too. I've seen them cut them in two and short them. They look better. <laughs> they do. But I mean, they'd have little time. sinks in them. It was just, it was just crazy. Six, Danny. Yeah. I'm at six, seven, six dollar bill. Would you go seven on the car shuffler? Automatic car Lord shuffler. Jim. Seven, John. That's for uh, what is that? Mosaics. I don't know. I was gonna throw it away. <laughs> Is that why I'm so I'm at seven so eight seven dollar bit would you go eight? Seven eight seven dollar bit would you go eight? Seven eight seven eight. I got seven dollars. Would you go eight? Gotta go, guys. That's a good item right there. Seven eight seven. Hey, Gail. Seven dollar bit would you go eight? Seven, Shuffle eight. up and deal. I gotta go, India. Oh, that's pretty right there. It is. I like that. Oh, hey, Greg. Becky is Greg Milker registered. Got John at nine. That book is card game all there. I've never heard of it. I got nine, ten, nine dollar bill. Would you go ten? Nine, ten, nine dollar bill. You go ten, nine, we'll ten. We'll back up John to seven. Yeah, he wasn't registered. Cindy tried to get him. Cindy, go back and hide him again. You unhit him. There you go. Thank you, Cynthia. Cynthia. All right, so John Driver, nine dollars. Go, go. Back him up to seven, Becky. Oh, because he had somebody bidding up on him. Yeah. All right, we got to back him up to seven. I didn't know that. John, you, we backed you up to seven because somebody bid you up on it. All right, guys, we've got a jar full of uh, mosaic bits that you can do art with. Yeah, tiles. Little mosaic. They're different colors, yellow, green, red, blue, all kinds of different colors in there that you can do artwork with. They was in that crafting stuff. Loaded. You, you can do, uh, make some kind of, this be a good project for the kids. But I got two and a half from Tammy Blankenship. Yeah, you, you and your kids could do a great project with this. Look at all the different colors in there. You tell them, John. A lot of different colors. Y'all could do a some kind of project where you could uh, do it's something. Like a, There's a lot of them. Is it a I gallon mean, jar? This is a gallon jar, and it's probably... Half full? Half full? Yeah, it's probably uh, three quarters full. Well, yeah, probably half, we'll call it a little over half full, guys. I'm at four. Let me go ahead and lower this down, baby. What are you doing out of the picture there? Mm-hmm. Get over next to me. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, sir. I'm at five, ten, five dollars. Here you go, ten. I'll push her plumb over next to that wall where she keeps fooling me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go back and do my foot like this. There's yeah. a double one in there. Uh, Jeff, is, is it half full or half empty? That's a good question. I ain't smart enough to figure that one out, Jeff. Be a little bit over <laughs> Is this game right here broken? Is it? You go through this, baby. It's a lot of uh, speckled color tiles in here. Not solid. Pretty cool. It's new. Oh, it's new. It's all there. It's just a box we messed up. Baby. I guess. Well, it looks like. Yeah, we'll do anything it takes to make it che- cheaper shipping for y'all. Got ten with Tammy. Yeah, we can take it out of that jar if we have to. Yep. But I got Tammy Blank chip in at ten. Just old pickle jar. What is what it's in? Yep. 
Let me 10. Now 12 and a half, 10, 12 and a half. Just like I was going to throw it away. You stopped me. 12 and a half. There you go, John. I got Mildred in at 12 and a half. Me too, John. Never shiny. Hundred and eight people watching tonight. Yeah, it would uh all right. So the Mildred and Becky, we can put that in a Ziploc bag. That game's uh, all there. It's got it's oh new. yeah, it is all there. Just I the box was in bad shape. The box was in bad shape. Is it sort of like Tetris? Game variations. Blocus. Red, blue, yellow, green. It's all there, right? Yeah. So it's not new. It's just all there. Oh, I thought it was bags up like new. No, they weren't the new bags. It's a used game, but it's all there. Blocus. I ain't never heard of it. It sort of is like Tetris in a way. It looks. Like it's what it looks like to me. Let us again. Everybody's wanting board games. We're trying to find them. What number was that? Number seven. Seven. That was item number seven. That was item number seven. That yeah. always sold seven yeah. items. That's got we your got directions on how to play. That was item number seven. I think they said the Mildred. duration of the game lasts about twenty to thirty minutes. And let's see how many players does it say? I guess it'd be four players, four different colored tiles. Blocus, guys. Like two donkeys or a donkey and an elephant. She counted one of them separate. Those sold the together, tins. though. Those sold together. Yeah. The ten sold together, too. Right? Yep. I don't think we sold choice on anything. Do what? It should only get the ten sold together. It's only seven items. You got this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we not got no bid on them, Mama. Got to go. Nobody bid on the board game. That is number eight. You're right, Becky. Nobody bought Thank that. Thank you for sharing, Joan. All right, we got a big cake stand. Nice cake stand, guys. Got the dome, and that's heavy. Yeah, it needs cleaned off. But it needs cleaned out. off. Been in storage. There it is. Very nice. Five, Sandy. I mean, it keeps stuff longer. You can put cheese balls underneath there, too, with crackers and stuff like that. It don't have to be a cake. Well, you can do like your uh, like your carrots and everything underneath there in a tray. Six and with Kevin. keep it fresh. You know how the cheese gets like bad? Mm -hmm. We need that around the house, Ma. Eight, Sandy. They are nice. Reminds me of being a brandy. Ten with Kevin. Coming up next is a queen waterproof and breathable mattress pad. Twelve and a half with Sandy queen mattress pad. This thing was one hundred twenty nine dollars, Mama. Mm -hmm. They're not cheap. It's one hundred twenty nine dollars. Thank you, Becky, for sharing. Kevin is Twelve out. And a half with Sandy. Twelve and a half, Sandy Boardman. You want to move along? You sell it. Are we done? They out. That's all my bidders. Yes. So, all right. Good deal. That was a great buy. Cheap, cheap. Mmm. Smell good. Smell Danny Fresh. Yeah. It's new. Columbia. That's what I was wanting to make. That's sure. an awesome brand. I do. I do the smell test on these. I had never opened that up, but uh, Columbia is awesome. That right there is tape residue from the front. Right there, but it's a uh, waterproof and breathable mattress. Thing's got a price tag. It's size queen mattress pad. Uh, was one hundred twenty nine dollars. Is that what that says? One twenty nine ninety nine. Right. Oh lord. Oh, that's expensive. Plastic. 
Yeah, that's that's uh, tank residue on the plastic. Got ten with Becky first. Twelve and a half with Sandy. One hundred twenty nine dollar queen size Silky queen size salt. mattress pad. Yeah, that is a good brand. Too. Pretty nice. Plush fill. One hundred twenty nine dollar value, guys. Box stitching evenly dispersed distributes fill. Silky soft fabric. Waterproof protection. Got twenty with Christy Becky twenty five. Sixty by eighty. Got Becky in first with twenty five penny, twenty seven and a half. Christy, is it new? Rhonda wants to know. Yes. Yes, it is I new, Rhonda. Put my nose in it. It smells new. Put your nose in it, Mom. It don't smell like feet or nothing like that, Rhonda. <laughs> Lisa, thirty. You don't smell first. like par par Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I don't know how anybody eats Parmesan cheese. Got Lisa first, Tony at thirty. Queen size, waterproof, and breathable mattress pad. John Albert, you better behave tonight. <laughs> he said, "Oh my God, Christy's been there. I'm not. It's a miracle." <laughs> <laughs> 35 30, with Lisa. 32.50 with Penny. 35 with Lisa. Joan Tuck's looking for sewing stuff. Uh, I think I've got a box of sewing stuff somewhere up here. I'm trying to work my way. Working my way back to you, baby. Columbia, Columbia is the brand name on this. Yeah. Running bear. Da, 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 da. Thirty-seven bit fifty with penny. <laughs> yeah, Bernard, I can't handle that Parmesan cheese. There's a bunch of patterns over here, Jerry. Oh, cool, Lisa. Forty. Oh, I know. Need 42 and a half. <coughs> What's he saying? That's Darth Vader. He's breathing. He's breathing. Penny, thank you for bidding. She is out. Got Lisa in at 40. I got to go, guys. We're at 40, 45, 40. I'll be able to go 45. I got forty dollars. Be able to go forty-five. The hammer's coming up. Is everybody out, Mama? Yes, yeah, Penny's out. Forty, forty dollars. Be able to go forty-five. Hundred twenty-nine dollar value. Is everybody else out, baby? Yeah. Sell it to Lisa Young. Forty dollars. Forty dollars going out of here. Goodbye, right there. It was at a third of the price. Let's go ahead and sell these guys. Relax. Uh, they came from Garden Ridge. They cost six ninety-nine each. One says relax and one says calm. Calm. You gotta be calm. Relax. Great for the bathroom. Yeah, really bathroom nice. Decor. They're the same size, aren't they? They just look different because I'm holding mine farther back. Correct. <laughs> and get them right beside each other and we'll show them at the same size. And let me get a measurement on these. They are seven by twenty-three. Twenty by no. eight. Eight by twenty. Eight by twenty. Garden Ridge, fourteen dollar value. Hey, ain't that nice? Relax and calm. I like the the. Uh, Got five with Tammy first. Penny six. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. Little white dove was her name. Running bear. Turn it out, ball. Ain't playing no reindeer games tonight. We ain't playing no reindeer games tonight. Nine eight, eight dollars. Tammy. Tammy eight nine eight dollar bill. We go nine eight nine eight nine eight nine eight nine eight dollar bill. We go nine eight dollar bill. We go nine. Got Tammy in at eight. Looking for nine dollars. Going once. Eight dollar bill with Tammy. Looking for nine. Going twice. Fourteen dollar value. Got ten with Mildred in. Came out of nowhere. And then Tammy throws a right hook at 15. $15 be able to go 17 and a half. 
15, 17 and a half. The it's calm a, and relaxed, it's Rhonda. Relax and calm. Bathtub decor, bathroom decor. Eight by 20 is the And we're at $15 with me, Tammy. Getting both of them. And you're getting both for one money. I'm at 15, 17 and a half. $15 video, 17 and a half. Uh, still got Mildred in. 17 Rhonda, and a half. 17 Rhonda. and a half. 17 and a half would you go 20. Tammy, you're out now. 17 and a half would you go 20. 17 and a half would you go 20. 20. I got 20 now, 22 and a half. They are pretty. They sort of remind you of Pioneer Woman design. Got Mildred you first. Know yeah. I got Mildred first. No, they're not tile or wood. They're canvas on wood. They're made, they're canvas. They're like a canvas painting on wood. It's a fabric. Danny Jesse's in it 22 and a half. It's, it's like a fabric. Fabric material. I mean, Tammy with 24 <laughs> $24. Danny Jesse was actually at 22 and a half. 25. Rhonda, can you do 25? No, we had Tammy first, uh, uh, Rhonda. It was supposed to be two and a half increments. Uh, Danny sort of threw me off at 22 and a half, so I had to count Tammy at 25. So we got Tammy first at 25. So we need to actually 27 and a half or basically 26 and a half. I got. Rhonda's so out. Thank uh, you for bidding. Thanks, Rhonda. But any time somebody like bids 22, they mean 22 and a half. They just don't want to type the half in. So we call it at that. So that's what threw Tammy off. Sold for discounted $24. Is what we'll count that. How are you doing these? You got it, Tammy. Choice on these, guys. Congratulations, Tammy. Sorry about that little mix-up, guys. The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, we had snow here in Scottsville, Kentucky today. You're getting choice on the Incredible Hulk. Metal signs. These are 17 by, what does it say on there? Or the Punisher. These are what? The Punisher metal yeah, signs metal. or the Incredible Hulk. You're getting choice on them. 16 by 12 and a half. 16, 12 and a half. There's the Hulk, guys. They are brand new, brand spanking new. The Incredible Hulk. And they are made out of metal. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm mad. <laughs> Is that what he used to say? <laughs> Ted was Sandy. Don't make me mad. You won't like me when I get mad. How many 12 and a half, 15? I don't know what this guy said. I, I wouldn't want to make him mad anyway. How <laughs> many 12 and a half, 15? Yeah, we got a nice fillet knife. We'll have to have yeah, it for a nice. Thursday night, Becky. Kershaw, I think, John, ain't it? We'll have to have that one because I can't show it. So we're not counting that Spider Man, Becky. Quit throwing monkey wrenches in, in my. Program I'm here. Not let Christy bid out. We do have a nice fillet knife, John. That uh, it's a Kershaw. Hey, Sammy Kershaw, brand new. It's made by Sammy Kershaw. No, it's pretty oh. sharp. Too. We're at twelve and a half with Ashley Stinson. <laughs> Becky retracted. <laughs> Getting choice. Ah, right, we got Ashley Stinson, twelve and a half. Which one you want, Ashley, the Hulk or the Punisher or both of them? And then my backup bidder would be Sandy Borman, $12 and a half. Both. Sharpener with it. Uh, right. I don't think the sharpener is with it. We're going we gonna to have a sharpener, though, with it. Bam! Here's the sharpener. Isn't that slick? And then here, I don't know if that's what went with it, but we're going to add that with it. What's that got the rough and fine? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Uh, wit rock. Wit rock. And careful opening that. Sharp. That is sharp. That's a fillet knife. It's a fillet knife made by Kershaw, not Sammy Kershaw. It's another Kershaw, not the singer. Ain't that right, Joe? 
Getting both the knife and the rock. No carnival glass tonight, I don't think, Mary. It's We're at five, time. ten, five. All of it. It's a Kershaw. Is that a real good name? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I know it is for singers because he sung that Chevy Van. Robbie didn't he? Ten. It is a good name. Did he sing Chevy Van? Kershaw. I don't know. <laughs> he just said no. <laughs> Um, no, that was Sammy John. This could be a John's night. John Driver, 12 and a half. John Driver needs that. Uh, Christy says she's going to be a John. Never yeah. been sharpened. I don't think it's fillet. Ricky, don't, don't you yeah, like I, this? Yeah, I know, but I ain't going to let it. Be. Darlene, oh. 15. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darlene, got Martin, first. You got Robbie you know, in first. It ain't. So it ain't pair of oh, Robbie first at yep. 15. Nice. Danny Jesse, 17 and a half first. But you're getting the wit rock, too. We right? Is that what you call it? Wit rock? <laughs> wit. W H E T, right? Yep. Did I spell that right? Yep. That would look and good. that is I really sharp, guys. Has that ever been sharpened, Mom? No. I don't no, think it's, it's ever nice. been sharpened. It's brand new. Yeah, it's never been sharpened. And it's got 20, the, Robbie. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there before I get cut. Sharp, I cut myself the other night, or India did one. No, I don't know. She's, she's got cat like reflexes. Yeah, so where's Cecil at when you need him? That's a whole lot. I'm going to get the next item up. That thing is sharp. 22 and a half, John. Pace of the auction is going really good they tonight, guys. Appreciate fun. everybody that's tuned in. Seems like it's going to be a fun auction tonight. 25, Robbie. Even if it's not a profitable one. We may even get uh, Sammy Kershaw to, to join us tonight on here somewhere and give us a big shout out. Is he alive? I believe so, yeah. What about Sammy John? Is he alive? John is out. Got $25 with Robbie. Um, a Mildred saying this this Kershaw was a fisherman that had a TV show, and we got Robbie Marr at twenty five dollars. I've never seen one at Walmart like that. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff too in the floor here next after we get rid of. <coughs> we got three of those. He got that for 25. Robbie Marr did. Robbie got it. That's Robbie cheap. The Wet Rock was probably five or ten dollars, wasn't it? Hey, right here. Star Wars Celebration yeah. 3, guys. Raise your cotton picking sights. Watch what he says. Watch what he says. Listen what he says. <laughs> he says like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Prepare to experience the revenge of the Billy. It is. Yes, I am, Connie. The dark side Here, sell that, Mama. <laughs> it's working, guys. Hello. I'm live on the air. <laughs> you are, too. Where'd you hit the button at? Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard that too. You just hit the button. Yeah. Welcome. To Batteries Star included. He's on his own little stand and base. It's brand new, guys. Brand stinking new. And it's still working. All right. All right. I got Sammy, Sammy in. Good journey to the dark side. You join it to the dark side. He sounds just like Jerry. Uh, Jerry. Jerry Clare. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm in. Did he play him or something in that? I don't know. Let me hear him again. Prepare to experience the revenge of the Sith. The revenge of the what? The Sith. Destiny. The Sith. 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 The dark side of the Force is strong with you. Sounds like uh, oh. 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 What's he saying, Booger? He's an actor. Is he saying Welcome booger? Star Wars Celebration Pretty. 3. <laughs> Never would you find a more wretched high. Oh, James Earl Jones. That's what Tiffany said. Hush him up. <laughs> you said hit the button so. again just a second ago. To experience seven the with Bubba. Seven, eight, seven dollars. What do you got? Eight, seven, eight. That is him breathing. I think Eight so, Sammy. Bridges. 
<laughs> hey, Peaches. I got nine, seven. Dollar bid and, I got eight, nine, ten, nine wow. dollar bid to go. Oh, Kevin bid the uh, the unlucky nine. Now, somebody's going to bid 10. The next bid's 12 and a half then. You always skip from eight and go to 10. So you'd be the first one bid. If I was Bubba, I'd just go ahead and bid 10 right now before somebody else did. I would. I 10, Sammy. See, that's what happens. Kevin told you. I'm at 10, not 12 and a half. It's worth 12 and a half. Go ahead and bid it, Kevin. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but it's too late. No, it was Randy that did. I got Bubba now at 12 and a half. All right, guys. Sammy is out. Thank you for bidding. It's got, an it's got an ionizer in it, too. It cleans the air. Yes. Like cigarette smoke, any Canono. Any stuff in the. Not this one. Stuff. This one don't, does it? Yeah. That's an iron. No, that's got an ionizer, yeah, too. Yeah. It sticks inside to those oh. grills or whatever's in there. 14, oh, Randy. Wait a minute, what was it? 15, got to count 15. 15, my bad. Got to be $15, so we counted at 15. Randy Lindsay's in at $15. Next bid will be 17 and a half. Yeah, $15 bid would go 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. The dark side of the force is I, I know you're saying booger, booger. That's what he's saying. He said, I got, never mind. <laughs> All right, we got to go. We're at $15 with Randy. And then we're going to sell a 42 inch wind curve tire fan with ionizer, guys. Can you believe that? Sold. Sold it. Sold. You got nobody. Andy. Else. All right, we're going to take this out of the box. India took it out. There's no, there's no remote control for it. There's no remote for it, guys. Nope. Doesn't have the remote. But there it is, right there. It's Carry an ionizer. Handle. This is the Spanish side there. It's got three settings, ionizer, timer, and it oscillates. Oscillation. India did try it. She put the bottom on it. Now, if we have to ship it, we'll take that bottom back apart and take the screws to the bottom, okay? Oscillation mm -hmm. factor. But this thing stands 42 yeah. inches, wind curve tire fan with ionizer. And uh, there's the box. Like I said, if we have to ship it, we'll, we'll take the bottom back off. Particles, yeah. Brand new, just does not have the remote. 42 inches, guys. $5, Christy. Got the ionizer and all. Danny needs six. India did try it. It works great. There's your controls all there. You don't need the remote control. It don't have the remote control. 10 first with Jody. But, guys, this is just what you need. To clean the air. 15, John. Is that what an ionizer does? Grabs all them Kanono particles. I bet that's pretty bad. 20, Alice Huff. Connie's got one, and they are great. Got Alice Huff in first at 20. $20, baby, would he go 25? 20, 22 25, and a half, 20, John. 22 and a half, 25. 22 and a half, 25. We got John Driver in at 22 and a half. Guys, y'all off here. Mildred said the company will often send you a remote for free. Well, yeah, just tell them. Say, I bought this as Uncle Jed. And one of his customers, uh, Mildred there, said they send it for free. It's a fan, Becky. 25. Tell them to send me a bunch Alice. of them and I'll sell a bunch for them. It's a fan and it also Lasco. has an ionizer. Oh, they make all the fans. Filtrate your air. I'm at 27 and a half, now 30. 27 and a half, now 30. And guys, if we have to ship this, we will take the bottom back off. India put that together this evening. I was going to do it myself, but she said, oh, let me do it, honey. I said, all right, go ahead and do it. 30. Christy's out. Alice is out. Thank y'all for bidding. 27. I got 30 now, 32 and a half. $30 be able to go 32 and a half. Looks like you may be taking the bottom back off. You want me to do it, honey? She's. What do you say? More, uh, mechanically inclined. Please let me do it. Please let me do it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> she said she's more Are we done? Uh, What's that? Is. That's the screwdriver. <laughs> what do I do with that? 
All right. 32 and a half. John, no, did you sell it? it no, I ain't, sold sold? I ain't said it sold yet. We're just getting it down in there. How do you get the base down? Oh, 32 and a half. Now 35. It's two pieces. It comes apart. This comes apart. That base comes oh, off. Okay. It's two pieces. Uh, okay. Mildred said out. Come on. Don't let $2 and a half separate you. Oh, she's got shipping, oh. though. John wouldn't have. I'm at 32 and a half. 32 and a half. I don't want to take it hard. I might run. Get your pretty face on camera. <laughs> Can't nobody see you smiling. My Mildred is out. Oh, we got to go. So to John Driver, $32 John, and a half. Go on down. I'm going to take it with me. Yeah, go ahead. All right. 12 got more tools, guys. Craftsman Quarter Inch Drive. John was saying five thirty seconds yeah. to one half. That wasn't inch, one of the items, John. And it's missing the nine thirty seconds. Only one socket's missing. Twelve point quarter inch drive. Are missing the nine thirty seconds. All craftsmen. All craftsmen, she said. Get rid of what? That box is cold. Yep. I've been through the whole thing. Missing one socket, which is 930 seconds. 12 point quarter inch drive. Get your loop, baby. Yep. <laughs> oh, Danny, they said they lost a nurse yesterday. Oh, one of the nurses from oh. five with Mike. Sad, sad. 12 point craftsman, Ooh. quarter inch drive. 10 with Abby. I thought these were. Missing the 930 okay. seconds. Mule or 925. Yeah. Need 12 and a half. Got 10 with Abby first, no, Barry. The other one's just go finish on it. They're both 925. Mule or. Me lord. Get the gold finish or the silver. We got finish. some jewelry coming up next. Sterling silver jewelry. Got 10 with Abby. Need 12 and a half. Barry's out. Thank you for bidding. 10, 12 and a half. 10 dollars. Everybody go 12 and a half. 10, 12 and a half. Mike usually runs a little bit behind. Who you got, Mama? Abby in? Abby Connor, 10 dollars. 10, 12 and a half. 10 dollars. Everybody go 12 and a half. We may have to move. We have to hold them so far. Oh, thank you. Barry's out, Ma. And we got something on the All right, sell it. Twelve and a half, Tony oh, Brown. Oh, got twelve and a half. Just in time, Tony Brown. Asked him again, he'll knock you down. And we got other craftsmen coming up. Both of these are nine two five me lore. Choice on them all. Silver finish or gold finish. Okay. Sort of looks like the Cartier design with that it's screw. It's me, me lore. Abby is out. Thank you for your bids. Got Tony Brown, 12 and a half. All right. Abby was the only other bidder. Sell it. Tony Brown, Tony Brown. 12 and a Good half. Deal. All right, guys. Getting crazy cotton picking sites. Tony Brown got them, Ricky. That looks like the Cartier design. These are 925. Getting choice either the gold finish or the silver finish. Italy, me lore. We'll get it. We'll get it, Sammy, here in just a minute. They are both 925. One of them has a gold finish. Of course, the other one's a silver finish. There's the Italy mark. <clears throat> both of them are sterling silver. You're getting choice on them. Guaranteed to sell one of them. Guaranteed to sell one of them. There's the 925 mark. We're only at $10 with Melissa Colado. You are getting choice on them, guys. They are sterling silver, by the way. Both of them are sterling silver. Mark 925. Bangle bracelets. And we're, only at, Melissa. we're only at ten dollars. Y'all not looking here. Show them how smooth they are on the inside there, mama. 
I've showed them the marks. Oh, you showed them the marks and everything. You're mm -hmm. getting the gold finish or the silver finish. Sterling silver, guys. No reserve. We just guaranteeing to sell one of them. And we're at 12 and a half. With Sandy Boardman. 15 with Melissa. Guaranteeing to sell one of them. Italy Milor, 925. Choice on silver or the gold finish. They'd look good together, though. We're only at $15 for sterling silver bracelets. Choice on them, guys. Italy Milor. Is that how you pronounce that? Milor? Milor, yes. We're at 15, 17 and a half. $15 video, 17 and a half. And these, I don't think they've been warm, Mama. 17 Brandon. and a half, Sandy Boardman. <clears throat> You're getting choice on them, the gold or the silver one. They got the brush finish to them. It's pretty. I'll take both of them. Cartier come 20. out with a design like this. Yeah, they're sort, the of like, sort of like Cartier. Mm -hmm. Cartier 20. Cartier, sort of the Cartier design. Melissa. It's what you'd call that. Sandy is out. Thank you for bidding. And we're at 20, 22 and a half, $20 bid. Very nice gold finish. Now, has the gold one got silver uh, things on it, Mama? Yes. The gold one does have silver like screws on it. They're mm -hmm. not really screws. They're made to look like Cartier then. And the silver finish is all silver. And it's all silver. They've been nice. They put gold screws on that one. We're at $20, $20. Baby, go 20. Guys, cannot believe this, but I got to go. $20, baby, go 22 and a half. $20, baby, go 22 and a half. Going once. $20 bid, would he go 22 and a half going twice? $20 bid, would he go 22 and a half? Third and final call. Where's your phone at, Mom? No it's other right bids? There. No we other good? bids. Sold, Melissa Pilato. <laughs> Melissa, do you want the silver or the gold one? Or, or a both. price, both. Your choice, silver or gold. $20 each. Both of them. Okay. All right. Listen up. She took the silver one. I'm going to go to and the gold one. And oh. the gold one was the penny item. Woo. Gold one. I done selected the gold one to be the penny item. So, actually, she got both of them. Everybody else got out way too early. She bought, she bought the silver one for $20, and she gets the gold one. For one penny, guys, penny item, penny item. Uh, we'd wrote it down if she'd said silver and then the backup bidder, Sandy, had said gold. But Sandy would have got that one. Wow, what a deal. Congratulations yeah, to Melissa Clotto. She actually got both of those bracelets for $20 and a penny. The gold one for one penny, guys. Uh, yes, yes, i seen that, Sammy, and I hate that. Prayers for his family and his children. Our hearts go out to, uh, he used to come to our auctions quite a bit. I know it. I know it. Ain't that just the way it goes? All right, guys, raise your cotton picking sights. Oh, man. This right here is brand new oh, Sony SSB1000. Probably valued around $700. They're brand new, guys. I don't even want to take them out of the box. It's two of them They're there. speaker systems. I think I will take them out oh, to Lord. show you one of them. You get good stuff for these. These are brand new guys, and they've even got what is that? The wires that goes with them. All that stuff. Sony guys, very nice. I'm gonna open these up. They're brand new, guys. I just wanted to show you the style of them. If you've been looking for a set of speakers, these are nice. They're they Sony. Nice. Look at there, guys. That's nice. Very nice speakers. If you're looking for a set, well made. Take the front brand new, guys. Brand spanking new. Yeah, you can take the front off of these. They should just pop right off. 
It does come off. I'm sure. Yeah, they just pop off. They had never been off. There we go. Look how they look there with the with the front off of them. Isn't that bad? You're getting a set of these guys. Look at there. Isn't that nice? Brand new, right out of the box. And they've got the uh, it's got the booklet that comes with them. There's your wire and everything. Well, they're not real light, but they're not real heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put the this back on there. So I won't damage it. I'm only at $20, guys. Brand spanking new. You're getting the set of them. If you've been looking for some nice speakers, this is it. This is the route to go right here. Both of them's down in there. Brand new. Brand new. We're going to go ahead and put this. Go ahead and put that back down in here. Yeah. But there they are. You got the manual and everything in there. Sony SSB 1000. Brand new. We're only at $32 and a half. Seventy five to a hundred dollars, I'm sure. Probably more than that if when when they bought them new, I guess. Oh, I didn't put this back in here. Do you need one? You got one. It would be nice. You got one. And these are ready to ship. And we're at thirty two and a half, looking for thirty five. Where yeah. is Vanis? Yeah, Vanis box of electronics. <clears throat> Gonna be a good deal here. I'm at 32 and a half, and I gotta go, guys. Tony Brown was at 30, Sandy Borman 32 and a half, 32 and a half going once. Uh 32 and a half going twice. They're not plastic. No, they're not plastic. They're nice. 32 and a half, third and final call. Any bids on the phone? Nope. Sold them. Sandy Borman, $32 and a half. $32 and a half. What a deal there. I'm a telling you. All right. By request, the number 24 die cast car made by who? Oh, I got you right oh, here. Oh, the tailgate came off. It's magnets. NASCAR Mega. A magnets hold that on. I've never seen that before. Really? NASCAR used under license. See, look, magnets hold it on. I've never seen magnets. Does it do the hood like that, too? Oh, cool. Magnets hold the trunk on. Sammy, this is what you want it put up here. Now, the trunk has got a little bit of, see them little places on there I wanted to show you. It's been around the track a couple Somebody's times. Somebody's played with this. Now, the trunk just comes off. It's got magnets on. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Not right now, Charles. And some of the decals are a little loose coming off. Yeah. What's she said? <laughs> Five was Sammy. Six, Bernard. Sammy, eight. Uh, smaller speakers that can plug into a headphone jack. My truck is loud and wanted to make some make my GPS I, louder I so I can you. hear it. Okay. I answered him. Hit the wall too many times. Sammy with eight. You can care go. That is sweet. You can care it's all a go. <laughs> Monte Carlo. <laughs> That's gold field. There's some pretty good coins out there. I'll just sell them all. You know, foreign coins, aren't they? Yeah, what's that one look like? I like them. They make good brains. All right, we're at eight dollars. Got to make a call and check on the. Sold eight dollars, going and out of here. Thank you for your bids, Bernard. 
Give me them two beasts. Uh, who got that? Sammy Stinson. Sammy Stinson. All right. That next item up for bids. Andy have to go do what Christy's doing there. I will go ahead and. Uh, hey, that's Australia corn. Uh, let me do the Craftsman Ratchet, Mama. What ratchet is that? Half inch drive. Half inch drive. Craftsman. Forged in the USA, Craftsman. Oh, that's pretty cool the way that back is. And the, the ratchet is a, what is that, a nine-inch ratchet? Who won that uh, car? Sammy. At what price? $8. Why come we got 12 and a half? Somebody bid after then. That was after you sold it. I was after I sold it. So, Sammy, you did get that at uh, $8. Sorry, Mike. Half inch, uh, it's a half uh, half drive, and uh, it's a 10-inch ratchet. It's made by Craftsman, forged in the USA. Pretty daggum nice, guys. We're only at $10. 10 with John. Now 12 and a half, 10, I got 12 and a half, 15. 12 and a half, what do you go, 15? 12 and a half, what do you go, 15? Got Tony Brown in it, 12 and a half, what do you go, 15? 12 and a half, what do you go, 15? 12 and a half, what do you go, 15? Went 12 and a half, 15. John, do you want to go 15? Well worth that. I got 15, now 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. You're welcome, Sammy. $15, be with you, 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. Got 17 and a half. Craftsman guys, they don't make them like this anymore. 17 and a half, would you go 20? 17 and a half, would you go 20? 17 and a half, would you go 20? You got Tony Brown in at 17 and a half, would you go 20? Uh, yes, Melissa L., yes. I didn't see you ask that. I would have answered that. Becky's our clerk over there clerking. That's why she answered that for you. But get registered, hon. Oh, Abby Connor came in out of nowhere. I got 20 now, 22 and a half. $20 B, would he go? 22 and a half. $20 B, would he go? 22 and a half. Got Abby Connor first, John. It may have showed up on your computer, but we got to go by how it shows up on hers. And Abby beat you by a fraction of a second on our computer. I got 20 now, 22 and a half. Melissa L., we wait until uh, the auction's over. Then they send out invoices, and after they get it packed, then you get two separate invoices. One is for your items, and then one is for shipping separately. That way we charge the exact amount of shipping that they charge us. All right, so Davy Connor, $20. Raise your cotton picking sites, guys. We've got a bigger and better one. It's another 10-inch one, and this one's got the push button on it to release the uh, ratchets. And it's also made by Craftsman and also USA. There's the number on it. Really nice looking ratchet, 10 inch ratchet. You're welcome, Melissa L. And then Tony Brown jumps out of the gate at 15, now 17 and a half. $15 VBD goes 17 and a half. Really nice looking one right here. Got the little push button to release on it there. Everything's smooth. That don't look like that's been used much at all. It's new. And they work great right enough. That's almost that is almost new. Yeah, I'm telling you. I don't think it's ever been used. I'm gonna we'll call it used, but yeah, it is, Robert. I think I don't think it's ever been used. I'm at 20 now. Yeah, it's got the half inch drive to it. Yeah, they're not cheap. Ten inch. Yeah, this this don't look ain't got a nick on it or nothing. I'm at 20 now, 25. $20 VWD go, 25. Craftsman, you can't buy these tools anymore, Harley, can you? I'm at 20 now, 25. $20 VWD got Tony Brown in at 20. $20 VWD go, 22 and a half. $20 VWD go, 22 and a half. John said he was out. Did I have any other bidders? Got 25. Barry Purdue's coming in there. Was lurking around the tree. He looked around and saw the craftsman and bid $25. Snuck right in there. Tony Brown said, not so quick, Barry. 27 and a half, now 30. I got 27 and a half, now 30. 
27 and a half. You know you want to, Barry. 27 and a half. Do you go 30? 27 and a half. Do you go 30? Got to go. And Barry said he was out. That's all my bidders. Anybody else? And we sold that. Tony Brown, $27 and a half. Goodbye right there, Mr. Tony. Goodbye right there. All right, we'll have more tools coming up here in a minute, guys. We're going to get back on to some items. Uh, let me sell this thing and get it out of the way. Who wants a big shopping cart or a small shopping cart? You can do a little bit of shopping with this. And I will show you the wheels here. The screws need to be adjusted on. These have got the nuts on them, but the two nuts are gone on this side. You need the little nuts on this side. The little cap nuts. If I can get it back through the hole there. See there, the little nut that went on this side has gone on both sides of this. Pretty neat little shopping cart there. I guess you could use it for a doll, put a doll in it or something like that. I don't know. But the two screws on this side needs a little nuts you can get at any hardware store. I took that one plumb out. Now I won't never get it back in there. I'm working on a building, working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. There it is. I got it now. Napkin holder. Maybe. I don't really know what it's for. It ain't got a back in it. I wonder what that was for. That was your kind of shopping cart. <laughs> I'm at five, seven and a half. Fruit holder, yeah. That'd be pretty neat to sit on the table and hold fruit. You're exactly right. It'd be different. It'd be different. It ain't got a back to it, so I don't know what that's all about. It's almost like you put something hot in it because this is like something that would keep you from getting burnt. The coal. I'm at six, seven. Six, seven, six dollar baby to go seven. Six, seven, six dollar. Moving right along, guys, clearing up some stuff. What about the Beatles guy? Uh, uh, we'll get it here in a minute. All right, I'm at six and I got to go, guys. I got seven from Wanda Sexton. Like I said, the two little wheels, you get your husband to put the little caps on them. On two of the wheels. Be sure not to lose them screws out of that. I'm at seven, eight, seven dollar baby to go eight, seven, eight. $7 when you go eight. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what's in it either. Let's just uh, sell it like it is. Oh, uh, no. Let me look in it. I don't know what's in it. We'll sell it like it let is. It. We'll let them look in it. All right. I got to go, guys. <laughs> I got to go. Is that it? $7. Wanda Sexton sold. Congratulations, Wanda. Watch the wheels on that, Ricky. All right, guys. Raise your cotton picking sights. you talking about a heck of a toolbox. This baby is 26, almost 26 inches wide. And it's in great shape. And it's got stuff in it, guys. Let's see. Everything that's in it's going to go. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy. What's all in this, baby? Epoxy, a level. Hey, that's an expensive line. tool, ain't it? What is that? How you take that out? He needs that. What is that? that right there. This? Yes. What's that for? That don't go. We can turn water on. Turn water on. Yeah, you know, if you do the one unit, a place, and it's got a chalk box. They always take the handle knob off. And a crescent wrench. Hold on a minute. Let me show them everything in the top here. You know, T50. Hey, that's that's Arrows. a real Staples. crescent. That's not a one of the generics. It's crescent. It's got crescent on it made in USA. All these look like new tools. There's a little down. level. This is just the top. Nut setter. And that's one of them uh, cutting... Hey, that's pretty expensive just right there. Pittsburgh Dykes. All right, we're going to see there? what else is in here. A garden hose. A flex hose. A that's, saw. A, that's a saw. You put a blade on that. As seen on TV, That's flex one hose. of them flex hoses. Them $20 by their sale. Nice little pouch. 
Oh, look at that. It's What's in this? Tape. It's electrical tape. Hey, this is yellow electrical this is tape. This of the tester model. There's four different colors. Paint. Wow. Four different colors. Four That's four got model model, model car paint in it. That's a whole set of models. There's a nice rasp Bondo. A brand new, what is that? Brand new saw. Or it yeah. says brand new. It's got the thing and it's not brand new, but it's nice. It's not been used saw. much. That's for like horseshoes and stuff. And that right there, this thing's barrier cool. Tools. There's what another, there's another tools. big saw right there. Them's brake tools. Them's brake wrenches. All right, them's guys, you wrench. see it right there. Cable and the toolbox. All right, we're going to put it all back down in there. Get, we could have sold all this separately, made a killing, it's but we're not. It's better than yours. Uh oh. Yeah. It's a nice toolbox, guys. Yeah, that model car glue right there is pretty cool. I don't know what yeah. it's doing in there. This is for water. I bet I bet that's like eight, nine dollars a box of that tape. And there's three of them. Gotch. Four of them. What? Yes, four of them. Dressing wrench guys showing it to you again. And the water hose. That's pretty cool. Alright. I think we put the wool. This goes down in there. There we go. I don't even know what tool that is. Alright. Did that go down in there? Is that everything? Yep. If How it had a bottom. Huh? How long is that toolbox? Yeah, it's, it had a, there it is, guys. Yeah, because it kept, too. Jeremy, he kept stuff, kept mm -hmm. coming out of there, didn't it? And I'm only at 37 and a half. The doggone toolbox, over two foot long, guys. Sturdy uh, fiberglass in great shape. And you can put a padlock on it. Yeah. And you can put a padlock on it, but I've got to go. I've got John Driver in at 37 and a half. Probably uh, 80 $90 worth of tools in there. 37 and a half, would you go 40 going once. 37 and a half, would you go 40 going twice. I got 37 and a half, would you go 40 and I got 40 right there. Somebody came in last second. Sammy. Sammy came in at 40 Still way off. $40 bit, would you go 42 and a half. $40 bit, would you go 42 and a half. The toolbox by itself would probably be $29, $30 at least. And we're at 40, go 42 and a half. $40 bibbity go 42 and a half. I got $40 bibbity go 42 and a half. $40 bibbity go 42 and a half. All the tools and everything there, my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me. $40 bibbity go 42 and a half. Going once. I got $40 bibbity go 42 and a half. Going twice. I got a $40 bid. Would you go 42 and a half? This is the third and final call. Nobody else in? Wow. That's a nice. So, Sammy, $40. Oh, John, too late. John came in there too late. Oh, my. You waited too long. Gone and out of here. Gone and out of here. Sorry, John. Are you lagging a little bit, John? Is that what the problem is? Are you lagging? Yeah, thanks. If you are, we'll watch the next time you're in on a bid. All right. We'll sell some there. I'm fixing to take a break with it. All right. Is it time for the Wheel of Whitney? I believe it is. How many items are we We're at 815. How many? It's time for the Wheel of Whitney, guys, before I take a break. Sammy said hit the bell, and John said no. But he John said he's not, not lagging. lagging. He was just taking his time and uh, waited too long, didn't you, John? All right, we're going to do the Wheel of Whitney. Spin the wheel. I hope everybody's bought an item. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Get you some money to spend tonight, some Uncle Jed bucks. That's what we're giving away now. Only makes sense. On our heart, on our part and y'all's part, too. Did you show them that large? Uh, first one we're going to do is a chip, and then we'll just draw a name. Uh, yeah. Mr. Sajak and Vanna White. There you go. <laughs> Spin that wheel, Vanna. 
Hey, we'll uh, names numbers. are down there. Chris We'd have to let him have it at the $40 bid that you had, Sammy. We wouldn't wouldn't make him go 42 and a half. It's up to you and him. You and him talk about it and tell Becky whichever way y'all decide. That's worse than me. All right. We, we've got to draw a chip out, guys. Let's see what they're going to do because it could be that last chip. All right, John said it's okay. John, John got the All right, item number five. Uh -oh. Becky, write down item number five on here. Who bought it, what it was, and all that stuff. Item number five, and then we're going to draw out a name. Also, everybody that's registered. Everybody that's registered. It was the paddle drill bits. The penny item. Woo! Hey, what did I say? First penny item. That was the first penny item of the night. Diane Mahaney. Diane Mahaney, you got 30 seconds. What's her husband's name? Larry, right? Yep. Yeah. You and Larry's got 30 seconds to say you're here. If not, you will forward your right to spend the will of Whitney. I'm going to go ahead and draw a name out, too. I ain't got my timer set up I'll just quick. sort of go by my time. I'm going by Uncle down. Jed time. I'm going by Uncle Jed time. Diane Mahaney. You Come on, Diane. Hey, that was a penny item. I told uh, somebody else a while ago that would that be uh, something to get a penny <laughs> item? Uh, Jimmy Grace. Is Jimmy or Jennifer watching? Jimmy will get a hey, spin the wheel Jimmy. of Whitney. If you're watching... Everybody that's registered or ever been registered is in this box. And I don't think they're watching tonight. They might be. Come on, Diane. All right, Diane, you've Where just got about going? 10 seconds Where left. To the and then we're going to have to draw again. I'm going to go ahead and draw again. I don't think Jimmy or Jennifer is watching. I'm going to go ahead and draw another name out of here. Donald Ashburn. He's not been on tonight. That was a new one from the other night. Uh, if you've ever uh, just sent your name and address and all that stuff in here. Not required to buy anything. Not required to buy anything. But you got to be registered or we wouldn't have your name. Because you went Uncle Jed Bucks and you, you'd have to spend it that way. And that's all you got to do right there. We don't share your information. All right. Donald watched one time and he's not watching anymore. It was Donald Ashburn, and I got to drop one of them back down in there. Wesley Mitchell, him or Virginia, and I got to draw another chip, too. You're right. Wesley or Virginia Mitchell, is that right? Wesley or Virginia, are y'all watching? Y'all got 30 seconds. There's Wes. And Wesley's on here. Wesley, the second. Uh, we're going to get a spin as soon as we get a chip winner. The chip winner always goes first. Number 16, Becky. Mm -hmm. That is number 16, ain't it? Yep. Number 16. Item number 16. Wes, we'll spend your uh, go here in just a minute. We got a lot for sale. Coming back up the auction, we'll start back up here just as soon as we get done spinning the wheel. Uh, who is it, Becky? That'll be the first one we spend. Then, West, you'll be the second one. The Ionizer missing remote. John? Who bought that? John? John Driver, John Driver by that. Surely not. Yes, he did. He done saying here. Is he the one bought it? Yeah. I thought Chris, I thought uh, Ricky Shields bought that. Nope. <laughs> John Driver, are you here? You got 30 seconds. All right, John and West. We're going to spend for John first. On the uh, win of the uh, ionizer. Let's see if it gets paid for, guys. Let me lower this down to the Wheel of Whitney. These are Uncle Jed Bucks. You have to either spend them tonight or within the next two auctions, which would be Thursday or Friday night. You'd have to spend your Uncle Jed Bucks. You see, we got $100 in Uncle Jed Bucks, all kinds of fives and $10 in Uncle Jed Bucks. Uh, we got a 25, uh, 20, two 20s. 
and uh, there's 25. Right. And this is a prize. That's for a big Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven, brand new, guys. Really nice item. And this little spin item right here means you get to spin the wheel two more times. Okay? And once you win one of the big prizes, we take it off the board and replace it with $5. All right. Here we go, John. Good luck, buddy. There's the wheel of Whitney. Oh! $5. $5. That's $5 off anyway. Yeah, $5. Congratulations, John, on the $5 win there. Congratulations. Now we're going to spend for Wes. We're going to spend for you, Wes. Good luck, you and Virginia. Uh-oh. He got the prize. <laughs> Woo got the prize. Oh, my goodness. Look, guys, it almost flipped back to number five. He got the right there. It is. Right there on prize. Congratulations. Let's show it to him what he won. It's right underneath there. I got you, Ricky. You got to take the prize off now. Oh, man. We'll have another one on there. That's nice. You can cook a whole chicken in there. There's the prize. And look at here. Lodge. Dutch oven, brand new guys. That is awesome. And congratulations, John. He got five dollars off, but Virginia and Wes won the prize on there. What's that about a forty dollar value, guys, or fifty or eighty? Nice. What's what's them cost, guys? Probably fifty bucks. All right, that goes into the. I got their win. That's probably fifty bucks. Congratulations, there, guys. Uh, someone was asking about exercise equipment, fitness stuff. That was a good. We'll have another prize on there Thursday night, just as nice, guys. Maybe a few other prizes. We keep them on there till they win. <laughs> John said Christy took her name out of the box. All right, guys, we'll let Ricky get this wheel of Whitney out. It'll be back up here in a little bit, guys, during the next hour sometimes for somebody to win. Maybe $100 in Uncle Jed bucks. And we still got that spin on there. They could actually win uh, 125 if they got the spin and landed on 125 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, up next, let's go ahead and uh, – Oh, Princess Leah, and let's sell both of them for one money, Mama. All right. He's holding his leg. Is he supposed to be holding his leg? Yep. I guess he's supposed to be holding that leg. If something happens to him. Oh, you can spin them. They take them apart or something. In the oh. Does it take batteries or anything? Or? No. Oh, Manual just, operation. You're getting both of them for one money. So congratulations on the winners tonight. Congratulations. You sell both of them for one money, Mom. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we're ever going to have T-ball season or not, but you want to do choice on these? Yeah. The kids are going to be out practicing anyway with their dads. Getting both of them, two and a half with Frugal. John says you got to watch Christy. John Albert, stop it. <laughs> Getting both of the action figures on a display platform. Manually spin them every position you want. Got two and a half with Mark. I think that she shot his leg off. Now in one of the episodes or something like that, they took him apart. Getting both of them. Princess Leia and C-3PO. Sandy Boardman at three. They got four, Mark. Five. 
five sandy and next coming up is gonna be t-ball bats louisville slugger and a rawlings brand new in the plastic got sandy in at five getting both of them And they stand about six and a half inches tall. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Where you at, Ma? Six with Mark. Bill said those are not baseball bats. They are deterrents. <laughs> Could be used either way. They're brand new. Louisville Slugger, and this one is uh, Rawlings. Rawlings. This is Sandy is out. Frugalicity six. We'll do choice on that. Sandy's out. Both of them getting both of them. Getting both of them for one money. All right, what are we doing here? Choice on the T-ball bat, the bull. Is that right? The bull made by Rawlings. All right, so this is a. Uh, These are brand new. They got the strength wrap still on them. That would be like a little league bat, I think. T ball, yeah. That T ball also? Yeah. Because this think is so. T ball. I think that would be for more like little league. No. Up above T ball. This is a negative seven and at seven ounce. And this model. is a negative twelve. Whatever that means. How long are model they? Model W Y B S. Two and a quarter inch barrel. The T ball bat's 25, and this brand new one here is 29. 29. 29 and 25, John. They're both brand new. They're both brand new. You're getting choice on them. 29 inches, 22 ounces on the slugger. You are getting choice on them. We're at $10 with Melissa. There's the specs on the slugger. Let me show you all the specs on this one. Two and a quarter inch barrel. And we're only at $10. At that price, you'll take both of them, I'm sure. Or 10, 12 and a half, $10 be able to go 12 and a half, 10, 12 and a half, $10 be able to go 12 and a half, 10, 12 and a half, $10 be able to go 12 and a half. You got 10, 12 and a half, $10 be able to go 12 and a half. 10, 12 and a half, ten dollar bid. Would you go twelve and a half? All right, I've got to go. Is there any more bids on the phone? I got to go. Ten dollars, Melissa Clotto. Melissa, I'm sure she's gonna take both of them at that price. Brand new, still in the shrink wrap. All right, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Now, neither one of these was a penny item, but. Uncle Jed had it in his mind. The buyer, if they take both of them, it's going to come with a bonus. Ooh. So Melissa Clotto has won a bonus by taking both of these. It wasn't a penny item. And here's her bonus, guys. Oh. Oh. Two no. brand new. Wow. Two brand new baseballs and a brand new Wilson glove. A bonus prize Sweet. tonight. Brand new Wilson gloves. That's a T-ball glove, too, it's ain't it? Baseball. Baseball, I guess it'd be yeah, I'd be a little smaller uh, guy. Plus, two baseballs. Dang. Right there, two brand new strength wrap baseballs. All right. Guys, it pays to stay in there. Giving away prizes like they were growing on trees. <laughs> Woo -wee. All right, coming up next, guys. We're going to sell another one of these. These are on the wall mounts. You can mount these underneath your big screen TV to put your DVRs. You know, you never got a place to put your uh, uh, your uh, cable box or your satellite box. Uh, these right here, I'll show you right there. They mount right there on the wall, and it's pretty good size. Uh, what size are they? Do I have to open that up? Let's it holds it up, up to 15 I'm pounds. Gonna, I'm going to open it up to show y'all. I'm going to open that up here. I got some. These are pretty neat to have. They 
think I got it. I got this. Yeah, it'll be the, about the size of the box, right? Yeah, everybody thinks they're like little small things. But you can put, they're not, oh, the Gucci. This is how big they are, guys. If you want to put your internet box underneath there, yeah, or a DVD player or a game system even. It mounts oh, right all underneath. your hardware's Look, brand new, never been mounts, installed. It mounts right underneath your flat screen TVs that you have on the wall. Never been installed. And look, guys, it's brand new. And you can put it right underneath there. And that way, because uh, a lot of times, you know, you have to put a shelf or something underneath your flat screen Installation TV. Installation manual. With this, you don't have to put a shelf underneath your TV. You can just mount this, which is a shelf, but it's neater looking. Yeah. I'm talking about one of them old clumsy wooden things you have to put under there. Told your game yeah. system. Uh, but that would hold uh, how much weight? 15 pounds. 15 pounds, guys, which would hold a uh, PS3. They don't weigh yeah. 15 pounds. Yeah. Or a satellite box. Satellite yeah. Box. And we're only at $15. These are probably a $50, $60 value. But I wanted to open up because it looks like it's a little small thing when you buy these. And we're at 15 with Becky Swagger, right? We're at 15 with Becky Swagger. Need 17 and a half. But they're all in one shelf, and it shows right there what all it would hold on the back side of it there. Or you could just put decor under your TV. Yeah, you could use it to put decor on the wall to put one of your favorite vices, <laughs> vases, bosses. You could use it for uh, just to make a shelf on a wall to set your Ethernet box. You know, to get your Ethernet box up higher so it can go to run more rooms instead of being stuck down low. If you want it up higher on the wall, you can put your Ethernet box on there. And I'm at 15 with Becky Swaggered, guys. You don't have to put it under a TV. You can put it anywhere. You can put it anywhere, yeah. Anywhere. To the side of the TV or anything. Yeah, you could put uh, pictures or your favorite figurine or something like that. I'm at $15 with Becky Swaggered, and I got to go. And that's going to be a deal right there. So to Becky Swagger. Becky, I've got two more of them. I'm going to let them roll $15. Yeah, Becky Swagger was done in. Probably a 50 or $60 value. Uh, we've got two more of them, Becky. Becky may want all three of them at that. I mean, you could use it, you know, different ones to set a gaming system on, set the uh, DVR on. On the side. Yeah. Becky, I've got a total of three of them. That's cheap for that, $15. Options are limitless. You've got a total of three of them. Anybody else that wants one of Becky just wants one. All of them. I don't blame her a bit. That'd Good be deal. all three of them. That's a heck of a deal there. You can do a lot of different things with that. We probably should have kept one of them. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and sell this and have this up out of the floor. Candle holder, guys. Uh, iron wall sconce. They pay $25 at World Sales for that. It's a wall sconce made out of metal to put your candles on. Oh, that's nice. Brand new. Here, I got it. Hey, Hey, that's pretty heavy duty. He said, Dewey. Man, the last of the West, light all them candles. It's going to be bright. There it is in the box. That's brand new also. Still got the little styrofoam pieces on it. Yep. That was a great buy there. That Becky came up on there. All right, that's got them. And guys, we got uh, some other items that we're going to be selling here too. And at five dollars, we're one to six. And Mama, you got that? Yep. Hold six candles at one time. And the measurements on here: thirty inches tall by sixteen wide. 30 by 16. Brand new in the box.
Got five with Wanda. I don't have any other bidders. Sell it. Six, Becky Swagger. Oh, Becky Swagger coming there. Uh, Joan Tuck wants to know if we have a food saver. I don't think so. I think we sold it. We had one That's seven one. with Wanda. Need eight. Got ten with Becky. Wanda is out. Becky's gonna feel Uh ten bucks, Becky Swagger. There you go, Ricky. Thank you. What do you want me to sell next? Matchbox. Choice on the matchbox. I don't Choice know on the matchbox. Uh, 1992. 92, guys, when they came out with these re, uh, repops of the uh, original matchbox, these are the mini ones. Authentic recreations of Max, matchbox early vehicles. This says number one. But it looks like a tractor. What number is that? Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first miniature model was the Aveling Barford Road Roller. Yep. The driver was cast as part of the body. Variations to the center section and ends of the roof were made. This toy owed its origin to the best-selling dinky model. And yours is the London bus. Mine's the London bus. So this was the number five one Smallest that Matchbox made? Lens Lesney scale model. Choice on them. This is the... I guess that was the first Matchbox, um, right? The uh, reproduction of the first Matchbox. Hmm. Is that what it says? And this was number five. Yep. So I guess that's why it was. Well, I'd love to have the original one of them. Mm -hmm. Worth thousands, wouldn't it? We're only at eight. Choice on these guys. Choice on them. Ten with Mike. They are unique. We're 12 and a half. Bubba. 1992 is when they did these, which is already 28 years ago. Ooh. 28 years ago already. And we're only at 12 and a half with Kevin looking for 15. <coughs> Getting choice. Mike, $15 with Mike Colado. I had the mic off for a second. Choice on them. $15 bid. He goes 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. Amanda, we got a couple PS4s, is all I got. We'll have them up here in just a second. All right, we've got to go. Mike Colado's in Love at $15. All right, so Mike Colado, you want the uh, the bus or the other one? He'll probably want both of them, I'd say. Do choice on them PS4 games there next month. Waiting on Mike. Kevin will be the backup bidder, of course. Both of them. Two times. These two right here, choice on them. More of these. Hold on. I, got another, I got another bus, didn't I? There's a bus. That was all. Uh, I had another one of these buses. I had another one of the buses. Uh, I don't know if Kevin might want that bus. Yeah, that's all I or Mike might have wanted it too. I don't know. But I had one more of the bus. That was it. Yeah. Mike, do you want two buses? Cheap, Mike 15 want, bucks. Mike might want two of the buses. I don't know. I had one more of the buses. 
John's going to use his Uncle Jed money. Use that money tonight, John. You may win again, brother. This was the number five. I'm asking uh, Mike. I actually had another one of these. Uh, this is the Matchbox Originals. The Double Decker Bus. Because these were made in all the matchboxes were made in England, right? London, yeah, I think. Now I'm waiting on Mike Colado, and if not, Kevin uh, might want this one. I did have two of these, uh, Mike Colado. Yeah. Mike said to take it. Mike wants it too. That's two of the buses. That's two of the buses, Becky. Be three times. Or he meant Kevin take it. I, I, I think he meant take it. Ah, uh, no, he meant Kevin take it. I think that's what he meant. I didn't see Kevin. I didn't see Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, that goes to Kevin, Becky. That's what Mike meant. I didn't see where Kevin had wrote. If he don't want it, I, he wants it if he don't, and Mike said take it. Just clarify that for us, Mike, if you don't care. Uh, All right. Yeah, this is uh, that was my bad for not looking there. PS4 Alien Isolation Nostromo Edition. These are the only two PS4 games we got guaranteed to sell one of them. Adult owned mint condition. Getting choice. Uh, Kevin wanted it if Mike didn't take it, and Mike said take it. And I think Alien he, Isolation I rated mature for Kevin to take it. Or Wolfstein, the old blood. I think you've got it, Bubba Harrison, Kevin Harrison. Also in mint condition. That's what okay. That's what I thought. You, Becky, I was wrong on that. Kevin gets that other one. Getting choice on the PS4s. This is also rated mature. And these are the only two left we got, the PS4 games. Yep, that's the only two we got left. Unless we find some more. Unless we find some more. Choice on Old Blood or Alien Isolation. Hidden, I would have to uh, differ with that remark, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Hidden. You tell them. Thank you, brother. I am wrong on occasion. Very seldom of them wrong, and it's hard to be humble. <laughs> You're perfect in every way. To know me is to love me. I can't stand it. I get more perfect and perfecter every day. Oh, too adult, too adult for him. All right, anybody else on the PS4 games? Thank you, Amanda. That's all we got, hon. We will have some PS3s up. Maybe here in a little bit. <laughs> And go ahead and pull them back. Nobody's got one of PS4 games now. All right, guys, real quick, I promised some uh, kids DVDs. And we've got ammo. And I think these are in great shape. We'll Grouchland. And we've got the Simpsons. Treehouse of Horror. You're getting choice on these. And they're in great shape, guys. That one's a little bit not as great a shape, but it'll play fine. That Simpsons is. You can tell the ones they really liked. Ratatilla. Ratatouille. 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 Oh. You're getting chores. No, you're fine, Amanda. You're fine. You're getting chores on the DVDs. Flushed away. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what that means. They get flushed down a toilet. Tom and Jerry, the movie. Hey, that's where I got my nickname, Mousy, when I was growing up. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, the mouse was Jerry. No problem, Amanda. It's all good. And we've got Toy Story. You're getting choice on them. I don't know if I've got any Barneys or not. Have I got any Barneys down there? Hey, Toy Story with two discs, guys. Bonus features. Bonus features. Jimmy Neutron. Confusion Fusion. We'll see if we've got any Barneys. I don't think I, I may have. And then Confusion Jimmy Neutron. You're getting choice on the Bubba DVDs. Bubba was bidding on the PS4 games. Got John in at seven. Who was? Bubba was bidding on the PS4 games. All right. Everything good? 
That's something wrong. Okay. Oh, we good. We good. I got uh yeah, job a choice. It's choice on them. Sammy had bid six anyway, John uh Bubba. Oh, you wanted the PS4s? We'll go back, Kevin, and restart the uh PS4 games. You're getting choice on the games here. I mean the DVDs. I'll show them to you. I got you, Amanda. You're getting choice on these. Got Kathy Scott at 10. Choice on the DVDs. Somebody's there's one in here somebody likes. Mom, you can bring the chips over here and stuff, and I can just mm -hmm. move them over there for you. Got John Driver at 12 and a half. And I'm going to start the PS4 games back up at $5 here in a minute, Ma. We're at 12 and a half with John Driver. Wait a minute, Kathy Scott. <laughs> Maybe she meant that. Kathy Scott, I don't think you meant to be at $25. There's one she really wants. <laughs> I don't think she meant to bid $25. 15, Kathy Scott. 15, Kathy Scott. Getting choice, Kathy. You're getting choice on them, Kathy. That's one DVD, and they are great movies, kids' movies. John, she may not get the one you want. That's what I was thinking. And we're going to sell that at $15, Kathy Scott. But I'm going to back them up. I'm going to back them down to $10. I'm going to back them down to $10. And, John, you'll get the second selection, okay? Kathy, tell me which ones you want. Then, John, you'll be next. And, Becky, we'll, we'll see. Which one do you want, Kathy Scott? We're backing it down to $10. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Was there two Tom and Jerry's? No. Tom and Jerry. Okay. I don't think it got the one John wanted. So we'll let John go next. Thank you, Kathy Scott. John, did she get the one you wanted? We backed them down to $10. I don't think she got the one John wanted. Elmo, Sammy Stinson, Toy Story John. Toy Story John. Elmo, Sammy. And anybody else? Anybody else? Flushed away, Eric Law. I got these three left. I thought somebody got ratatouille. Mm -mm. No. That'd that's be the good. one I picked, though. Oh, that'd been the one you picked? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy got the... Uh, Tom and Jerry. Kathy got Tom and Jerry. Right, nobody wants them. Uh, if you do, just let us know. $10 each. What else you got? All right. The PS4, I've got to start them back up. Uh, Bubba uh, Driver. Uh, Bubba Driver. Bubba Harrison. Bubba Harrison Kevin Harrison started them at $5. PS4. 
PS4 right here. India done showed them to you a while ago. We got Kevin starting them at five dollars each, which is a great buy. That's Alien Mint Condition. Oh, you wanted Tom and Jerry too? I think I've got another Tom and Jerry right there, Mama. See oh, if he yeah. wants that one at that price. Where's right there at? Choice on these guys. Uh, right in that middle, oh, the third shelf down. I think there was another Tom and Jerry. Great shape. PS4, we're only at $5. Roy is not registered. Roy, you've got to be registered to be it. And it's easy to do. Oh, Roy's saying he is. Becky, better check it twice. Make sure he, that you not. Sometimes Becky gets it wrong, Roy. But I don't recognize your name either. So I'd probably get it wrong too. Oh, send you send your name in, Roy. We'll we'll get you registered, okay? That's all right. Uh, you didn't know what we was talking about. I don't see another Tom and Jerry one. Yeah, he didn't know what we was talking about. Get your name and stuff sent in there, Roy. Read that information. You can still read it. One of our moderators sort of puts you in a timeout mode until you get your information sent in. But you, you're still welcome to watch. I'm at $5. Uh, there was a Tom and Jerry on that third one, Mom. You did that one, yeah. Oh, this one, Magic Brand. Yeah. That's in good shape, too. All right. Nobody else wanted PS4s. Uh, so, Kevin, he's probably going to take both of them. I'm going to let them both go if he wants them. Here's some good kid ones. Both. Two times. Uh, two times. All right, we're going to do some more kids ones real quick. There's another Tom and Jerry. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. I done, Bubba done. If Bubba might let you have one of them, Amanda. Uh, you got to talk to Kevin because I sold both of them to Kevin then, Bubba Harrison. Oh, Lord, you waited too long. But here's another Tom and Jerry. Too late, Amanda. We done let them roll. Bubba might let you have one of them. I don't know. Uh, we got Shrek here. We're starting in on the DVDs. Yeah, I'm sorry, hon. Kevin might let you have one you was wanting. I don't know. Uh, you wanted that one for 10. There you go. Put that on John Driver. Did you get that, Becky? That's what I – that Tom and Jerry I was going to give to uh... – okay, Amanda. Uh, Amanda, they said you could pick, Okay. We got Shrek going on DVDs again, guys. Kids ones, open season. In great shape. And John Driver got the Tom, another Tom and Jerry, Becky. He got the other one at that same price. Great shape. I'm checking them all. Uh, this is open season. Oh, two open season. No, open season two and open season one. No, open season three. Two and three. Two and three. And the Incredibles. That's double disc right there. The Lion King's double disc too. The Incredibles. We're at $8. And Lion King. Uh-oh. This is the original Lion King. Great shape. All right, so the PS4 games went to Bubba? Uh, Bubba got well, – he's going to let Amanda and them have the Old Blood one. Was there one called Old Blood? Yes. Yeah. Uh, she can let her pick. Okay. Uh, she picked it. Um, uh, uh, Bubba let her – Bubba, thank you for doing that. Appreciate it. Kevin, uh, they picked out that one, if that's all right with you, for their son. 
So, Becky, can you get that straightened out real quick? I'm at $8 with John Driver. Welcome back, Charles. And Becky, put the old blood one on Amanda and take it off of Kevin's. She's got it. Thank you. Thank you. And we got you took care of, Amanda. All right. Here we go, guys. We're at $8, and I'm going to let them roll. And what happens with these DVDs, a uh, person sees one they like. And if you buy them, you know, they're $5.99. If you buy them online, they're like $9, $10. We buy them sometimes. I got you. I got you, Amanda. All right. Sell it. John Driver, $8. Uh, Kathy Scott will be my backup bidder. Incredible. Open season. Two and three. Open season two and three. Shrek and Lion King. John Driver, which one Both do you want, bro? Both open seasons. Both open seasons. Yep. Kathy Scott, we got the Incredibles, Lion King, and Shrek. Two DVDs, DVDs here. If Kathy Scott don't take it, they're open up to anybody else. Eight dollars each. And it depends on if it's a movie they like. That's why they they'll go a little bit higher. I mean, I'd pay for a movie, you know, that I was looking for and want it. Kathy Scott, we've got Lion King. You're welcome, Amanda. Shrek and The Incredibles left. Eight dollars each. And if anybody else wants it, <coughs> if Kathy Scott don't speak up here in a minute. I'm trying to keep everybody satisfied. Kathy Scott, open season is gone already, sweetheart. Open season's gone, Kathy. John got it. Sorry about that. Anybody else? Robin said she'd take all three. Go out of here. Kathy, we'll have some more coming up in a little bit, hon. Okay. All right. We may find another open season for you. You're getting all these SpongeBob books. Robin took all three of those. Yep. How many is this? There's a bunch of SpongeBob books. You're getting all of them. I'm going to sell them all. I'm not going to do choice. We're going to sell them all. Really good time to have them for the little kids to watch. I mean, the little kids to read. And you're getting... You missed that filet knife a while ago, Bill. That was a nice and I don't know. Did Bill get that? We'll see. If we can't rustle up one, Bill. Okay. <laughs> I started counting them and I got messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I guess that's a whole series. Yeah, you do. <laughs> There's 12 of them, and I'm at $6 with Mr. Vanis Brown. Hey, yeah, 12 of them, Jeremy. China, that get, thicker one on the bottom is Garfield also. Take, do them as a set. Yep. Will you get this then for me next? Huh? You get yep. them for me next. Uh, we're at 10 with John and Robin. I never can pronounce their last name. Severson. Right? Severson. Now the next bid will be 12 and a half. And I got to go, guys. Becky, could you send me some numbers? Did Rick and him have some troubles? They, they have a problem? No, they had to run some more. Okay. I got to go. Where's my hammer time? Do you got any more bids on there? Robin at ten dollars, and I gotta go. So ten dollars. Oh, Kathy Scott came in too late. Kathy, sorry. Under the gun. And we've got a bunch of Garfield books. So Kathy, you can bid on these. Hey, these are like cartoons. You're gonna get all these. 
uh, brand new. Looks brand new. They got some stickers on them. That last one's not brand new looking. Bunch of Garfield. Do they color in these or what? Or just read them? They're like comic books, aren't they? Yeah, that's a little older one there. And then a big Garfield marches on. You're getting all the Garfield books. Trying to move this stuff. Trying to move, uh, keep everybody satisfied. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total Garfield books. Robin, you actually got them because Kathy Scott came in late. I don't know if you heard me, but Kathy Scott came in late. I'd done announced it sold, and I had to go with that. Sorry to Miss Kathy Scott. And your numbers are sent. Where's your phone? I got three dollars. I don't know. I don't know where my phone went. Oh, it's on my. All right, thank you, Becky. We're at $10. Kathy Scott ain't playing no reindeer games on these Garfield books. Wanda's out. Thank you for bidding. Wanda, thank you for bidding, hon. I guess you heard India say it, too. I'll be a poly parrot and repeat what she says. Kathy Scott. Uh, what, what, uh, movie reels? I actually do. They're not here, Tammy. I actually do have some movie reels. <laughs> Funny you ask that. I've got a bunch of them. I actually got one that's got, uh, actually got, uh, who was it on there, Mama? Roosevelt. Uh, was it FTR? No, it was, uh, Eisenhower, I think. Yeah. On the train, waving at some farmers. All right, Kathy Scott got him at 10. Kathy Scott got him at 10. Penny Adam. Congratulations to Kathy Scott on the Garfield. Another Penny Adam for tonight. Instead of paying $10, Kathy Scott will only pay one penny, guys. One penny. All right, you don't never know when the Penny Adams will come up. Now, me and Mom was wondering what this was. Now, this is used, but this is another one of them ionizers. Is that right, Mama? It is. Um, uh, uh, this is used. It sterilizes the surfaces and the air. It's supposed to sterilize like surfaces and the air. It's a Eden, Eden Pure. I will try to. That's what it is. She plugged it in and it's all working. It's supposed to like sterilize the air or the surfaces and y'all may have to look it up real quick. She had looked it up and can't remember exactly what all it did. But it's Eden Pure. And like I said, it is used, but it still works. And it'll be time to spend the Wheel of Whitney here in just a little bit, guys. Yeah, Tammy, if I can get to them, we should be able to get to them at $5 with Danny Vance. There it is lighting up. Got UV. UV. What's a UV do? Ain't UV what clean stuff? Sterilizer. Air purifier. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a different speeds. There it goes. Ozone. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
The UV is on. I don't know what that means. But there's air blowing out that end. Ah, thank you, Mildred. Pretty cool. I wonder if it kills Corona. Kills Rona. Pack this around with us if it does. Don't they say that the ultra ultraviolet uh, lights like cleans mask and everything? One of a person could just pack one of them around with you wherever you went, and like before you touch something, before you touched anything, you could actually like scan it with that ultraviolet thing before you bought, you know, your whatever you're buying at the store, wherever you touch the doorknob. How would that be, Vanis? Vanis is our science guy. Could you like pack pack one of those ultraviolet? Uh, thing with jiggers around, you know, like they clean the mask with. And <laughs> I'm at twelve fifty with Kathy Scott. You know, like scan the doorknobs, uh, scan your clothes before you come back in your house. I don't know. Just come up with some kind of deal to help beat this thing. And we're at twelve fifty with Kathy Scott. Yeah, we could. They could have their own little personalized one, little ultraviolet things. And I think they've got them. And you could just pack it around with you. I don't know how long you have to. How to catch a unique rabbit? I don't think so. Kathy Scott, twelve fifty. That's what I was thinking, Vanis. We need to look into that. Anything that would help us get out of this mess that we're in. And it could be the simplest of ideals. Unique opponent. <laughs> Did everybody get that? Raymond said, does anybody know how to catch a unique rabbit? And then he gave us the answer, unique up on it. <laughs> That's a good one. But yeah, I mean, just a simple idea like that might save a lot of lives and get us back to going to theaters and restaurants and uh, Kathy Scott won that, <laughs> by the way. I got off on ultraviolet. Uh, we need to work on that, Vanis. We need to study up on that. Anything that get us back into the restaurants <laughs> or the theaters and back together, guys. All right, Mama, uh, you want to do these uh, sockets here? I told y'all we have to. All right, Mama's going to do some sockets here in a little bit. And we do have some. Ooh, that's a breaker bar there. All right, I want to try to move this thing right here. And we're all going to need this, guys. I guarantee it when this is over with. We're all going to need this right here, this belly cruncher. This is brand new. The box is in a little bit bad shape. Unique up on it. <laughs> hey, you could, you could use that same. Uh, uh, we do have some craft supplies. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mildred. Uh, you could use it. I got $10 from Tammy on this uh, crunch thing. <laughs> all right, Randy. We still got plenty of time, guys. But could you use that joke like, uh, "How do you? How would you ca catch a unique woman? How can you catch a unique woman? Unique up on her. That'd work too, wouldn't it? <laughs> or man, I got ten dollars with Tammy, guys. I'll show y'all this. I did open it up to see if it was new, and there it is. It's all wrapped in plastic and all that stuff. And you put it together and all that. But that would work, wouldn't it, Raymond? I only had ten dollars, and this is the uh
Uh, you know, this thing's not heavy at all. I don't think it weighs five pounds. It should have a weight on it. It wouldn't be over 10 pounds, Mildred. It's not heavy at all. So I almost balance it on one finger, so I don't even think it weighs like a 10 pound bag of tater. It's probably five pounds is what I think it weighs. You know how to catch a tame rabbit? You pick him up. <laughs> I'm at 1250 with Mildred. All right, guys, I got to get back going the tame way. <laughs> 15, Tammy. I got 15 from Tammy on the, the uh, ab cruncher. $15 BBD 17 and a half. Got to get the auction boys going back up to get the items moving again. We've been going at a pretty good pace. No, you're fine, Raven. That was funny. We need a little levity, a lot of levity in the times we're living in. I got 20 from Tammy. <laughs> the tame way. Now, that would work also, Raymond. Uh, you know how to catch a tame woman. Don't pick her up at a bar. <laughs> No, the tame way. <laughs> I'm at 20, 25, 20, I'll be able to go 20, 22 and a half, 25. 22 and a half, but you go 25. 22 and a half, you go 25. 22 and a half, but you go 25. 25, 27 and a half, 25, 27 and a half. Mama's going to have some more tools. and Y'all talking about craft stuff. How was I going to do these, these craft things over here, Mama? The whole box. Mildred's out. Tammy bought that $25. Tammy uh, rubbing chalk. I've never tried to say her last Love name. Show? Yeah. It's old box, Mama. I think this is crafting stuff. It's stamping, so I guess it is. And we're going to sell the whole box. Everything in it. That's got some kind of note. Oh, you're in selling it. all of that? Yeah. Oh my god. Don't sell it all. I thought you said crafting, not stamping. Never mind. We're gonna sell it all. Oh, it's not. Or would do we should we do choice? Sell it all. Oh. You already said it now. <laughs> it's like a full kit of stamp. Yeah. It's a full kit of stamp. Well, it's crafting too, ain't it? And yeah. here it's got the set of 12 stamping pads. Oh, good night. Yeah. Goodness. I'm gonna show y'all in the box here. This would be pretty fun to have. Let me lower the camera down here. And let me make sure the ink is not dried up. She's on here. Let me have one of them there stamps. That's got all kind of the stamps in that. And then we'll show y'all. Not oh, out. look at there. How pretty. Beautiful. And then this has got a, what kind of stamps is in there? All kind of them, ain't it? The Recipe Chill Winner is warranted by Friendship. Bon voyage. Do that one. Do that one. You're getting all of these guys, all these cool stamps, plus the ink with different colors. Look. You the talking about having some fun. On the ink. You got a whole set of how much? Whole Di set of 12. Different colors? Yeah, all different colors. Orange, green, red, yellow. Look at there. That's a nice one. You're getting all this whole stuff. One is missing. I've got 11 hey, you got here. a recipe card here. I got 11 you got here. got 11 there? Yeah. Yeah, what's that? A, like a Christmas one. Let me make Good sure night. Sure all this is under. super cool, guys. I mean, all kind of them right here. Holiday. holiday ones. Oh, that'd be a cool one right there to have around Christmas time. Wouldn't that? I like that flag. And then the flag is super cool, too. And then there's two Ziploc bags full besides all of them. Two Ziploc bags. I ain't no telling how much is this is worth. That one over there? Yeah, the, their name. Oh, there's like a ribbon for like winning a prize. Cool beans, guys. 
All right, have a good night. Good dreams there, Hidden. Appreciate you, brother. Get you some sleep. Yeah, that's worth a lot there, Jay. Glorious green. But that's why everybody keeps coming back. We're at $30 with Mildred. $30 bid. Those don't even look stamped at all. I could even use them at Not all. Not much. No. They got something written in that one. I don't know what that is. Very cool. We're at 35 with Melissa L., new customer tonight. This is from the year 2000. Uh, welcome, welcome in, Melissa L. Melissa L. is new tonight. Where's Melissa L. from, Becky? Or Melissa L., where are you from, hon, if you don't mind telling us, which we already know. There's the green, glorious green. That would be green. too much shipping, uh, Jay. But they're wood, so. CT. Connecticut. From Connecticut. All right. Brilliant blue. Welcome in, Melissa L. We're at 45. That's not right, Jay. I'll take care of that. Lovely lilac. Let me see what the flag looks like. That ain't never been. All right, thank you, on. Melissa. We're at forty-five with Sandra. All right. And what we usually do is uh, we wait till you get several pretty good size items. God bless America. Heavenly Days, 2001. 1998 from the Bon Voyage one. All right, we got to go. $45 bid, would you go 50? Going once. $45 bid, would you go 50? Going twice. 2000. Got 47 and a half from Mildred. Well, that's until we get past 50. Now we're looking for 50. Then it'll be $5 increments. So here's the box. You can put them down in, Mom, when you, as you get them there. I got 50 Sandra. from Sandra. Now it's $5 increments, guys. Hope your day is heavenly. Happy birthday. Each new day is a gift. That's why it's called the present. All right, Mildred, thank you for bidding, hon. That's all the bidders we've got. So let's go ahead and drop the hammer. No, no more playing around. $50. Thank you, everybody else that bid. Congratulations. Sandra, that's a heck of a deal. One heck of a deal. There's all the colors. That was a good deal right there. Congratulations. Heck yeah. All right. Now, the next item up for bid. What have you got, Mama? Uh, uh, they, and we will have some more crafting stuff. Yes, you did, John. Uh, we've got some more tools. I'm going to take a quick break. Nope. Yeah, we try to do our best on the shipping. We don't make a penny on it, but there had to be a mistake on that one. And we're we're not perfect, and and Becky sure ain't. <laughs> but we'll take care of that it. That didn't happen. No, that didn't happen with us. She's talking about somebody else. Yes, we're fixing the spin, Bubba. I'm going to take a quick break, then we'll spend when I get back. Andy's going to sell some sockets, and then y'all ask for some more jewelry, some more crafting stuff. We got some candles coming up, and some more Star Wars for Randy. All right, let me take a quick break. All right, six point quarter inch drive. Craftsman, four millimeter okay? to nine millimeter. 
Cynthia said, stop picking on Becky. All craftsmen, six point, quarter inch. Got five with Mike. It's supposed to be in the 20s tomorrow. Yep, 28, I think, is low. Danny, six. All Craftsman metric, six point quarter inch drive from four millimeter to nine. Seven with Barry. Eight, Danny. And Jerry said nine is unlucky, so go ahead and bid ten. <laughs> Ten with Barry. Yes, Charles, we got the seven in here. Goes from four to nine. Cold. And if there's sockets missing in the set, I'll let you know. Got ten with Barry. Thank you for bidding Danny. Danny's out. It's getting cold in here, too. My hips hurt, and I can tell. Barry Purdue, 10, 12 and a half. And that's my only bidders. We'll go ahead and sell this to Barry for $10. All right, now we've got... 12 point half inch drive all craftsmen 7 sixteenths to 1 inch we're missing the 3 eighths and the half 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sockets Half inch drive, seven sixteenths to half inch, no, to one inch, missing the three eighths and the half inch. Twelve and a half with Danny. Getting eight sockets, twelve point half inch drive. 15 with Mike. Tony, I need 17 and a half. I got Mike first. Danny is out. Thank you for bidding. Missing two out of the set from 7 sixteenths to one inch. Half inch drive, 12 point. All craftsmen. Tony is out. Thank you for bidding. Got Mike in at 15. Those have a scent to them. Regia Garden. Mike Colado at 15. Let's see if I've got any more bids. Everybody else is out. 
Mike, 15 bucks. Good deal there. That's cheap, a, cheap. That was a great deal. I'm going to sell one of these candles. Freesia Garden scented candle. Smells candle. really good. It's got and a it's nice got little green, like carnival glass look. Sort of like carnival glass. Let me smell it. Smells good, like a like a uh, fresh uh, new smell, sort of, right? Like floral garden. Yeah, uh, but not too strong. Let me lower that camera down there. And they're not very big. Sort of like a chromish, chrome green. Freesia Garden scented candle. And there's no name on here as far as who made them. You got $3. three dollars and what we're gonna do we're gonna add one more to it so you're getting two for the price of one so you're Same actually getting scent. two of them you're getting two of them for the price of one guys and we're only at four dollars i mean they're the, now the candle's about like halfway up right the candle's about Is halfway half full up or half empty half full or half empty but you're getting two of those for the price of one money, guys. Kathy Scott, six. Tammy, eight. Two of them for one money. And they've got a really good smell. They're like half full or half empty, whatever you want to call it. Mildred, nine. You're getting two for one money. And we got Mildred in at nine dollars. And we got Kevin in at ten dollars first. <laughs> the next bid will be 12 and a half, Mildred. How many people's bid on this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We got five people that's bid on them. And we're at $10. We got 12 and a half with two of the candles. Tammy is out. Mildred's twelve dollars and a half. I tell you what, we're gonna do, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna back it down. Back it up. Back we're gonna it back up. it down to ten dollars. <coughs> okay, Mildred's got the top bid. Uh, Tammy will be my backup bidder. We're gonna back it down to ten dollars, and we're going to add a third candle. Ooh! And I've got five deals. I've got five deals, okay? And I want to try to take care of everybody. That's why I backed it down. So you're actually, uh, Mildred had bid $12.50 on two of these, but we're actually going to give you three, okay? And there's a total of five deals. So I want to try to take care of everybody that bid, that wants them. At $10 for three of them, we've got a total of five deals. So we're going to let Mildred have one. And that's a heck of a deal, guys. I mean, when are you going to see any auctioneer doing this kind of stuff that we do over here? Uh, now, Mildred, if somebody else don't want a deal at 10, you'll be the first to get a second deal. Uh, but Bubba Harrison, I'm sure he's going to want a deal at $10. Hold on, Bill. Maybe if somebody else don't, if somebody else don't take it, if don't somebody else that don't take the deal. But Bubba gets a deal. Oh, Lord. Let's see, who else? Tammy Blankenship uh, deal. One deal. All right, who else bid, Mama? Uh, Kathy Scott. Kathy Scott gets a deal. But that would be it, won't it? We had five deals. We got one more person. Uh, no. The only one we had bidding was Kathy Scott. 
Bubba Harrison, Tammy, and Mildred. We just had four bidding on that. Kathy Scott got a deal. We got her deal, didn't we? Is that, did we get Kathy Scott? Yeah. All right. And Bill was the first one to ask for a deal. Was you kidding, Bill? Bill was the first one to ask for a deal. Huh? Is that right? Did I get all the backup bidders? Yeah, Bill gets a deal. Because he was the only one asked, right? Did I get all the backups? Let me make sure I got all the backup bidders. I did. There was just four people bidding. Kevin, Tammy, Kathy, Mildred. And that's it. Yeah. All right, Bill, Bill got the other deal. Sorry, Sandra. All right. You got everybody took care of. Wasn't that sweet of me? Aww. I don't care what India says. I am a sweet person. They want the that's wheel. Why, that's why I cut her out of the picture. Y'all notice who the star is. They want the wheel. You're cut out of the picture. They want the wheel. All right, we're ready to spin the wheel, guys. All right, I'll share the big screen with Mama. All right, we're getting the wheel up, guys. And sorry, Sandy. I, d I just can do the best I can do. If I just, I could have actually did, instead of having five deals, I could have had 10 deals. Yeah. And, ma and made double the money, but I didn't. I could have had 10 deals at two, but I didn't. So, I much rather take care of you guys uh, like that. I feel a lot better about myself when I make the deals like that. All right, we're going to spin the wheel. All right, we'll go ahead and get the chip number out. You ready? Good luck, everybody. It's going to be item number 48. Item number 48. And while Becky's doing that, where's the names at? <laughs> Bill said he wants curtain number three. We may do that, Bill. That's a good idea. And the chip always gets to spin first. Oh, it was the ab crunch device. Who won that? Uh, that was uh, Tammy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Tammy. Wow. Let me make sure. I think it was Tammy that won that. Yes. And she's here. So, Tammy, you'll get to spin the wheel first. Let's get us a name now. The names are everybody that's registered, okay? So, it might take us a second to get the person that's here. Mark Nethery. <laughs> He's not watched all night. Mark, you got 30 seconds to say if you're here or not. Mark's got 30 seconds. But Tammy will get to spin the wheel first for a chance to win up to $125 in Uncle Jed Bucks. And you say how that is possible. Well, if she gets a spin, she gets to spin twice. She could land on the 100 and she could land on the 25. I know Mark's not here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and draw another name. Mark's not been on all night. Pamela, Granny's makeup and skincare after 65. Is Pam here tonight? I've not seen Granny on here. We'll give her 30 seconds anyway. We'll give uh, Granny 30 seconds anyway. Turning cold out there. Anybody? Yes, it is. <laughs> I will, John. I'll make sure Christy Shields did not take your name out. All right. Uh, Granny's not with us tonight. Our friend from up uh, New York way. She's got about 10 more seconds. I'll give her 10 more seconds. She might be in the wings watching. We drawed her the other night and she stepped out or something. We went in and let her draw it anyway, didn't we? Or let her spin anyway. But right now, uh, Tammy, that won the Ab Crunch Mama, we're going to spin the wheel first. She won it for, what, $25? All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw another name. Granny's time has run out. 
Raymond Johnson, Gigi's place. Raymond's here. That was a name that fell out. I got to put that back in there. <laughs> do, 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 do. Raymond, you got 30 seconds, brother. I hope you're here to spin the wheel. Gigi's place up here on the square, guys. That was the one that we uh, bought the uh, big orange skillet from. Uh, they gave it to us at a great price, so we got to give them a big shout out for that. But Raymond, you've got about fifteen seconds, brother. He went to bed, and lost when it came with came to bucks from Uncle Jed. Right, about ten seconds, Raymond, and we got to draw another name. Dad, gum it. Go ahead and get another name. Orange skillet. <laughs> All right. Danny Glodwell. Danny Glodwell, you've got 30 seconds. You know Danny's watching her Chris one. Danny or his girlfriend, either one can say they're here. Danny Glodwell, you want to spin the wheel of Whitney? Jabba's here. Danny's got 30 seconds, or Chris, either one. What is her last name? I, I can't remember. Watermark. 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 That's right. <laughs> Man, Danny Glodwell. He's usually always watching. He may have went to bed. Or Chris. All right. About 10 seconds, Danny. Then we got to go. Don't worry, Tammy. We ain't forgot about you. You'll be the first one to spin. That's why we do it. All right. Danny Glodwell. There are Yankees. I, I well, see. Where's Tammy from? Where was Tammy from? We drawed one Yankee, Granny Pam, and she wasn't here, Bill. All right. Danny Glodwell's time is up. Oh, my goodness. I thought Louisiana. Tammy's from Louisiana. Rosetta Dyer, she was here earlier. Rosetta Dyer, moms to all, you've got 30 seconds. Rosetta Dyer, to tell us if you're here or not, to spend the will of Whitney. Hmm. Wow, having trouble drawing names out. Rosetta Dyer, you've got 10 seconds. James said he wasn't here. Uh, ever how many people's registered? We've had a lot of people register. Outdoor lady, Jody Pitchford. She was here earlier. Outdoor lady, Jody Pitchford. Or, uh, where's she at? I don't think, we've never had one person like draw their name and they got a chip too, have we? Have we? Maybe yeah, not Christy. the same. Yeah, yeah but we does. wouldn't, Christy did, but yeah, we wouldn't let her do it because she was working. Ah, uh, Brenda's here. That's her mom. We let we let uh, moms and dads do that, guys. We let moms and dads do that. We did that. Uh, that's all right, Brenda. Uh, your mom. We we let moms and dads and brothers and sisters do that, or we'd be here all night long. Ah, uh, congratulations. We're gonna go ahead and spin, Brenda. That's a. Uh, we did that for Sammy with Ashley the other night. All right, now we got it. And y'all can fight over the money, Brenda. It's Uncle Jed. All right, here we go. That's $5. Anytime they're blank, they're $5. All right. We took off the uh, prize, and it's a $5. But I got to ask you something, Tammy. 
you see we've got a hundred dollar spot we got the spin spot there's a lot of fives on here there's tens and twenties and uh there's a 25 dollar spot we want to ask you a question tammy would you take 15 dollars in uncle jed bucks and not spend the wheel You got a choice. You can have automatic $15 in Uncle Jed Bucks or spend the wheel. And take a chance on getting more, take a chance on getting less. What do you want to do, Tammy? You want to spin? Spin. She wow. said spin. Through the $15 in Uncle Jed Bucks out in the wind. Good luck, Tammy. So, $5. You should have took you should have took the $15, but congratulations Tammy. She took a chance, lost $10 in Uncle Jed bucks. Once registered, always registered. But she almost almost got the 25, but congratulations you walk away with $5 anyway. Now, it is Brenda Spears. That's Jody's uh mom. Brenda, you've got the same deal. $15 in Uncle Jed Bucks or spin the wheel. With the $15, it's automatic. You got it. No gambling. You take a chance on maybe just getting the five or the 10, but you could get a lot more. Spin. All right, Brenda said spin. Good luck, Brenda. God, we, we got a lot of gambling women in here tonight. Five dollars. All right. Just like when you go to the boat, you walk away with a little less money. I designed that, Cecil. It's the wobbly Whitney Will of Whitney. We got to get it up on the wall whenever we get a chance. When we get our studio over there done. All right. Congratulations, you two gamblers. Five dollars is what Brenda won and what Tammy won. It saved me $20 in Uncle Jed Bucks, though. So thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. <laughs> All right. We'll be able to spin the wheel one more time tonight, guys. And who knows? Buy, buy an item. You might be getting in there. All right, Mama. All right. What's that stuff down there? Is that crafting stuff? How this do you is want the uh, screen print stuff. Are you going to one at a time? Yeah, if you want to. Choice. I mean, just they're all the same. All the same. Guaranteed to sell one of them. Is that all you got of that? Uh, these are different things. They're this different. This is things. a marquee light and a tag kit. All right. This is a, what do you do here, Mama? You're going to, have to explain that. I didn't read it. You screen it. Just does the screen ink. Press it on there. On shirts or what? Anything. On like uh, notebooks. On notebooks. Yeah. Hello, sunshine and. Let me take that price sticker off, that $25 price sticker off. I know they're not going to get $25. Art it. screen, screen <laughs> ink, uh, washi tape, screen print on paper, acrylic, wood, metal, fabric, and more. Booklet and the scraper. I got a total. I'm happy uh, 58th anniversary to Brenda. Is that today, Brenda? 58 years. That was for her and Jim. Jim was a really good man. Screen print. So happy 58. Easy steps. To you guys with him in heaven. I bet it has, Brenda. Bless your heart. But I'm sure he's thinking of you up there in heaven just as much as you've thought about him today. And we're two and a half with James. And we're guaranteed to sell one of these. Yeah. <laughs> She's been uh, making a joke there about her age. 
<laughs> we'll spin it backwards next time, Cecil. It is a screen printing kit that you can screen print on uh, paper, acrylic, paper, wood, metal, acrylic, fabric, and more. Fabric. And we're only at two and a half, Mama. I got to go. I can't waste all day on these. Hold it. We got three of them. All the same designs and colors. Uh, James, you want one, I guess. 25 dollars what he said the manufacturer they would sell them for two dollars and something all three because i was gonna james got all three of them guys all right next up <laughs> becky send me some numbers mom will get uh let's get up what Fill that porcelain doll, all American doll. It's came loose from the uh, backside, guys, but it's got the little tag down in there, don't it? The certificate. No, the bottom of her shoes off, honey. Look, I'm not gonna sell that. <laughs> I'll give that to somebody that comes in over there. Oh, Randy wanted Star Wars. Mom, I'll sell choice on these. And I'll get some more Star Wars stuff out. Choice. Choice on them. 66, episode three. Hey, Memphis Matt, what's going on, brother? Long time, no text. Vader's 501st Legion. Love My Hobbies is at $5. Now, who is Love My Hobbies? That's a... Who is that? I know who that is. You pulled her name out, didn't you? We did the other night, yeah. Not tonight. We didn't tonight. Well, I'm pretty sure you did. No, last night, other night, yeah. That's day. Uh, love my hobbies is David. Getting choice. We doing all right. Trying to just uh, dodge between the uh, COVID germs and not letting none of them get on us or anything like that. Return of the Jedi with Scout Trooper. I don't know, James. We're trying to work a lot of items in here. You're getting choice on these. 2006. But good uh, good for you join us. Uh, glad that you joined in with us, Memphis Matt. And 2002. And we was at five with Love My Hobbies, David. Now we're at Kathy Scott, $7. Looking for eight choice on them, guaranteed to sell one of them. <coughs> Ten with Randy. Randy coming on in there. He said he heard Star Wars. Oh Battle packs goodness. unleashed. Need twelve and a half on choice. Two thousand six. This one, and this is 2002. Wow. Love My Hobbies is out. Thank you for your bids. Got Randy in at 10. 12 and a half, Kathy Scott. Need 15. Meatloaf. <laughs> Who got meatloaf? <laughs> Jabba. And what we at? 12 and a half with Kathy Scott. Yep. Need $15. Are oh, they worth it? And then up next will be a mini walk, guys. I'm selling a mini walk up next. Wow. A mini walk. Walk this way. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Do it again, Mama. <laughs> Walk this way. That's good. Do it again. You did it better than me. <laughs> Got 12 and a half with Kathy Scott. Wow, Jade. 
he gets a good dose of it and figure out it's real. All right, we done? All in? Everybody done? Looking for 15? Well worth that, ain't it? 12 and a half, would you go 15? Going once. 12 and a half, would you go 15? Going twice. 12 and a half, would you go 15? Third and final call. Sold it. Kathy Scott. Which one you want, honey? Kathy, do you want the Star Wars one or the Star Wars one? <laughs> grill. Hey, we did that one night, Memphis, man. Not on the grill. No, not on the grill, but we, we, we draped our meatloaf with bacon all the way across the top of it. Everything's better with bacon. <laughs> you talking about that? That sounds good, though, Memphis, man. Kathy Scott, two times. Two times. Good Don't blame her there. All right. Tell them, Mom, what they got to do. <laughs> it's a mini walk. Tell them what they got to do. The Cook's Bazaar. Essential stir fry cooking utensil in Chinese cuisine. Y'all heard what India said a while ago, didn't you? What'd you say, <laughs> Mama? Tell them. I can't do it on the command. It just comes oh. out. <laughs> walk this way. Walk this way. This is brand new. Brand new, guys. Nice. On the mini walk. Look, it's said, got little this mini way. spatulas. There you go. Hey, isn't that cool? Rice paddle. Hey, what do you put it underneath there to heat it with? And it's an awesome red and color. It's got a walk book. It's got an awesome color to it. Oh, it says you have to stir fry and all that stuff. Asparagus. Oh, Look at the color on child. that. That is nice. We got Bill in at 17 and a half. Need 20 next bid. The Cook's Bazaar. I like that. Non-stick interior. What do you cook on? The regular eye? Put it on top of the stove? I guess so. Wow. There's your chopsticks, It's too. very small, Sandy. It's very small. It's it's That's how small it is. It's a mini walk. 11-piece set includes the walk, the covers, two steamer grills, burner ring, slotted it's probably like The grill's probably like eight inches across. Let me see the tape measure over, Mom. I'm going to see what the cooking cooking service would be. It's what, like eight or nine inches? It'd be perfect for you and Joe. Yeah, like nine inches, the cooking service. We're at $25 with Eric and Bill's out. Metal. Bill don't want to walk this way. I love walk and roll. <laughs> Put another song in the jukebox, baby. I love walk and roll. <laughs> 27 and a half. Oh. <laughs> you can't have really, really early this <laughs> About 4.30, yep. <laughs> All right, 27 and a half, when you go 30. 27 and a half, when you go 30. Would you walk at that? Would you walk at that? <laughs> <laughs> I got to walk. I mean, I got to go, guys. We're going to be walking out of here. I'm at 27 and a half with Sandy Martin, need 30. On the mini walk. The only one we got, guys. Brand new. Everything's in plastic. And you got the cooking thing here. Walking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're at 27 and a half. Somebody want to go 30. Put her back down in there, Mom. We're fixing to drop the hammer on that one. Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Bill said, what how about a nice craftsman folding knife in box? Do we have anything like that? No. Any more games? No, we ain't got any reindeer hey, games. Right. So does Sandy Borman, 27 and a half. Yoda. Uh, we got Yoda, guys. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at that? 
Would you look at that? Yoda. Star Wars. Mexico, 2004. Yeah, I don't know what that means. That must mean it's rare. It's Luke. Encounter with Yoda. Why does it mean Mexico, 2004? Convention exclusive. Convention exclusive, guys. This may worth be worth a lot of money. Ooh. May the fourth be with you soon. Becky, five. Hopefully we'll be we'll be uh letting freedom ring on the fourth of May. Bill, I'm a hoping so. Here. Okay, ten dollars, Randy. You gonna give Christy a card? Yeah. Order whatever. Uh, it's in my. It, no, it's in my uh, glove box. In the car. All right. Y'all hungry? Can y'all eat? Can y'all eat? Okay. We're at ten. Looking for twelve and a half. Ten, twelve and a half. Got twelve and a half. Now fifteen. Guys, I want to check something real quick on this one. I won't tell nobody what I find out. But I wanted to see if this was a rare one. Well, I won't tell y'all till after y'all get done. Yeah. I got twenty dollar bid. Where's my the buttons going? No, right here. I got the other keys. Sorry, guys. A lot of commotion going on here in the studio. I'm at twenty dollar bid with Bill Hover at first. Twenty two and a half with Vanis Brown. $25 with Bill Holbert. If I knew I had enough Star Wars people on here, I'd go about an hour extra tonight with Star Wars items. <laughs> 27 and a half with Vanis Brown. I like that one. Why is he upside down for? 27 and a half, where do you go? 30. I got 30 now, 35. $30, B, where do you go? 35. Uh, same thing last time you got it. Jerry likes cheesy sticks. Uh, thin crust bacon be good. Thin bacon and cheesy sticks, and then whatever else y'all want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at 30 and I got to go. Looking for 32 and a half. $30 B, would he go? 32 and a half. $30 B, would he Man, go? 30, it's 35. $35 bid. <laughs> would he go? 37 and a half. $35, would he go? 37 and a half. $35 B, would he go? 37 and a half. Randy. Yeah, thin crust bacon would be pretty good right now. This has got some cool color to it. I got 35. Would you go 37 and a half? Going once. I got a $35 bid. Would you go 37 and a half? Going twice. I got a $35 bid. Memphis Matt said he was out. I need 37 and a half. I don't know if Randy's lagging or working at Walmart trying to figure out if he can bid again. Randy said he was out. Bam! $35. Vanis Brown sold. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Live and in person. Is he going to ring the bell on this one? Penny item, guys. This was a penny item. You should have kept it. Penny item. Give me that. Bell. So... That sounds good, Bill. So congratulations to Vanis Brown.
Oh, I never had a BLT with eggs. Penny item. And a lot of people, when we start, when we do the penny items, they said, yeah, he just does penny items on junk items. He just does penny items on three or $4 dollar items. Uh, yeah, that's what it's valued at, Matt. Uh, 50 some dollars. But Fantas Brown got it for one penny by hanging in there. You never know what. You never know when it's going to be a penny item, guys. You never know. Congratulations. Penny item, guys, instead of, what was it, $35 that he paid? That's just like us giving away $34.99. How many penny items have we? They've been expensive penny items tonight, too. But that sounds good, Bill, on that. We're fixing to get us some pizza. India's fixing to do a piece of jewelry, guys. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Uh, but congratulations to Vanis and sorry, Randy and uh, Memphis Matt. We will have a few more Star Wars items. I'm going to go back there when I get done taking a break, pick out a few more really good Star Wars items. All right, what do you got there, Mama? Ooh. Sterling silver. Sterling silver. I'm going to get a measurement. Go ahead, Mama. You take over the, the show there. <laughs> Becky, send me some numbers. <laughs> She's probably saying if you keep giving away penny items, we're never going to meet to go. 17 inches sterling silver. And this has got some great color to it. Becky, send me my numbers, please. It's got it gets dark on the top and the bottom of each bead. It does. Uh, she ordered. That's what she said. And it's graduated. Sterling silver. Yeah, guys. Jerry wants cheesy yeah. bread. Seventeen inches. And it's got some different colors going on with this. It's not tarnished. It's the way it's made. Sterling silver. Ricky, you just care to shut that door, please? That's really cold. It does not have a name tag. It's only marked silver sterling. Mark Sterling right there on the clasp. Seventeen inches. That sounds awesome, Bill. Graduated Sterling necklace. Eight with peaches. Bill's making everybody hungry now. Ten with Mildred. It is not heavy. All the beads are hollow. 12 with peaches. I can get a met weight on it. Let me find my scales. It's not very heavy at all. And I'll give you the measurement in grams. Looking at almost 20 grams. 19.9. 19.9 grams. I just love the color to it, the way it alternates. 17 and a half with peaches. Twenty with Mildred. Go hit up uh, Reagan's Flowers here in Scottsville. Get your L and T Tilsons. They're selling produce and pot soil all at the same that time. Good. Yes, you it is good. The they got the best strawberries. Had, uh, Squash is amazing, amazing. Peaches is out. Thank you for bid. Got Mildred in at twenty. 
19.90 grams of sterling silver goodness. I don't know where it's at. Um, you know where Marvy B's lumber used to be on top of that hill? Right there. Behind a right Walgreens now. Mildred in at 20, need 22 and a half. I'd like to have some fresh green beans. Ooh, chocolate covered strawberries. Yummy. All right, Mo. $20. Congratulations. Here's a little bag. You already for it? She got a Sharpie just to write the name on the yeah. on the bag. Let's find another. Let's do a bracelet. Okra. Now we're talking. And this is marked 925 and a C. And I cannot make out the second letter. It's a C or a T or an R. Might be actually CZ. It's hard to even see on here, too. Uh oh. More Star Wars. But I'm going to call it CZ because I do not believe these are real. How would you put that one together? That's a kit there. And we'll get the measurements on this. 7 and a half inches. And it's got the double safety clasp. So you are less likely to lose it when you're That's walking great. around. Sort of got the X's and O's design. Kisses and hugs. Seven and a half inches. And the stones have got a blue tint to them. It's really pretty. 20 with Mildred. And the weight on this. Twelve point nine two Memphis Matt. Twelve point nine two. Yes, Tammy. Uh, Becky would be better to answer that question. I'll let her answer that for me. Twenty with Mildred. Seven and a half inches, 925 CZ bracelet. 25 with Kathy Scott first. Need 27 and a half. Turn it around, show you all the back side. Mildred is out. Thank you for bidding. Matt's out. Thank you for bidding. Got Kathy Scott in at 25. Hello, Mama. Hey, baby. What you selling there? A bracelet. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Becky. All my other bidders are out. Kathy Scott, 25. It is pretty. It is. Yeah, we'll try, we're going to try to make sure we do ship everybody's all together like once a week after three auctions. The Tuesday Kathy night, Scott. Tuesday night, Thursday, and Friday night. Unless you're just really in a big hurry to get a smaller item. <laughs> all right, Star Wars guys, raise your cotton picking sights. Oh, my goodness. Nobody's oh putting up this light. Oh, my goodness. Action figure kit. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Guys, you know how much these are. The action figure kit. Ultimate posable figure for collectors, authentically styled with incredible detail. Oh my gosh. Somebody said they're in about $200 and let's go. No reindeer games tonight. 10. We got, we got 10. 10, 20, 10. Got video, 10 20, first. 50, love 10, my 10, 20, 50. $10 video, 50. 20, Matt. You got 20 now, 50. $20 video, 50. $20 video, 50. 20, 20 now, 50. Twenty-five, Nick. Twenty-five, thirty. Twenty-five dollar baby to go thirty. Twenty-five dollar baby to go thirty. Nick Bandy's in at twenty-five. Guys, you know how much these cost. Twenty-five dollar baby to go thirty. Thirty, Matt. You got thirty now. Forty. Thirty dollar baby to go forty. Thirty dollar baby to go forty. Thirty, forty. Thirty dollar baby to go forty. Got Memphis Matt in at thirty dollar baby to go forty. Thirty, forty. Thirty dollar baby to go forty. Thirty dollar baby to go forty. Thirty dollar baby to go forty. What about thirty-five then? Thirty dollar bid got Memphis Mad in double M M M and M. Thirty dollar bid to go thirty five. Vanis thirty five now forty. Thirty five. Does it look like me, Bill? It sure does. You order bid on it. It favors you a lot. This before they put him together, that favors you, Bill. <laughs> got Vanis in first at thirty five. Forty, Matt. I got forty now. Forty five. Forty dollar bid to go forty five. Randy Lindsay coming in there. Vanis is coming in there. Memphis Matt's coming in there. We got 40 now, 45. $40 bid to go 45. I got a feeling Bill's going to bid 45 because it favors him so much. $40 bid to go 45. He don't even like Star Wars and he's going to bid. $40 bid to go 45. 42 and a half, Vanis. 42 and a half. We'll take 42 and a half. We don't do $5 increments until we get uh, Vanis beat you <laughs> to it, Bill. We don't do $5 increments until we get to 50. I just tried to speed the auction up by calling up a little higher number. Now we're at 4250. Now 45. 42 video would go 45. 42 video would go 45. 42 video would go 45. I got 42 video would go 45. I got Vanis Brown in at 4250. Would you go 45 dollars? 45. Randy Lindsay. I got fan. I've got what? Randy Lindsay. What did I start 45. to say? I don't know. I got 45. I started to say Fandy. I got Fandy in at 45. 45 dollar bid to go 47 and a half. I cannot answer messages right now. 47 and a half, Vanis. TIE right. Fighter Pilot. Is that an old guy? Oh, it's got the Japanese writing on the back. Uh oh. That can't be right, Becky. You just sold two jewelry items, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Pull out much piece. Uh, 25 and 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your numbers are <laughs> off there, Becky. This has got Japanese writing on the back. And I'm trying to find a year on it. Did you notice that? What? The Japanese writing on the back? I think it makes it worth more. It makes it worth more, don't it? I don't know. I, think it does. I know what it's about. I know what it's worth. We're at uh Vanis Brown's at 47 and a half. We need 50. Uh, Randy might have been trying to bid that. I don't know what, what he was doing there. Oh, I got you. 47 and a half, Vanis. <clears throat> I got 47 and a half. I know about what they're worth. We got to go, guys. We got a lot more items to roll tonight. Got to go. I want to meet. Then we'll have the spin of the wheel. I'm at 47 and a half. Would you go 50? Going once. Any beads or other craft stuff? I don't think we're going to have. I don't know about the craft stuff. I know we've got some more of it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it, Melissa L. But thanks for asking. We're at 47 and a half. Asking for 50. Going twice. 47 and a half. Asking for 50. This is the third and final call. Need 50, Randy. Randy may think he's in the lead, but he's not. Why is it, I don't know what he's doing there, bidding 48. <laughs> 
All right, Randy bit again, but we got to have two and a half increments. <laughs> Sorry, Vanis. I'm, I'm... Good night, Danny. Glad you joined us tonight. I don't know if Randy's having trouble bit typing in numbers or what. Yeah. There he is. Okay, now 55. Sorry, Vanis. I had to try to take care of him because he tried to bid two times. Vanis said out. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, Vanis. He said out awful quick. <laughs> I bet $50 bid when you go 55. $50 bid when you go 55. Going once. 55, Matt. I got $50 bid when you go 55. Going twice. Now, Matt, Mr. Matt said 55. Going twice. What are y'all doing to me? <laughs> Making your work. I got. Oh, he said out. I got fifty dollar bid. Going once. I got fifty dollar bid. Go fifty five. Going twice. Fifty dollar bid. When you go fifty five. Third and final call. Memphis Matt and Bannis. Are you guys sure you're out? I'll give you a little bit more time. Uh, just a few seconds. Sold it. Sorry, guys. That's about a hundred and some dollar item. Woo. That was a good deal. Nice. Right, another Star Wars item. And I have no idea on what this is worth. Vanna said H55. H55. He tried to bid $55. <laughs> and Matt said out again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry, Vanna. <laughs> and Memphis Matt said out again. <laughs> Are y'all just trying to play with my mind? Freak my mind out? <laughs> yeah, Vanis did try to bid again. Ah, oh, sorry, Vanis. Handcrafted. Handcrafted Star Wars item. Now, the plastic is pushed in here, but you can push that back out. That plastic, real thin plastic. Kurt Adler. You know it. That plastic is pushed in, but it's real thin, so you could open the box up and push that back out. See how it's come out there? Well, there it is. I just pulled it out like that. Ten, Matt. I don't know. What's it is do? Is it French? I don't know what it does. What is it? It's in France. It's in, it's is, in it French. In, is it in France? French. Yep. I guess it's in French. It's a Jawa. So there it's it is. Bandy 15. It's a Jawa. What's a peeled off sticker on the front? Kurt S. Adler. From a store. Lyson POG Rear Seasonal 0511310010. Looks like it's $49.99, I think, Matt. It looks like it costs $49.99. Is that right? See that? That looks like a four there, and then a nine, then a ninety-nine. Does that look right to you? Mm-hmm. Looks like it costs forty-nine ninety-nine at one time. And love my hobbies wants to see the back of the box. I hope that helped you out, Memphis Matt. What they do? Is that in French too? Mm -hmm. The writing. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this is worth then. It's all French to me. <laughs> and we're at $15, guys. It wouldn't scan, I'll tell you that. For the, it would the not scan, scan? It wouldn't scan with the eBay scanner, no. <laughs> You're welcome. Did that uh, answer your uh, question too, Memphis Matt? And we are... 2007... At 
What's on the bottom? Are you showing that? She's showing the bottom right now, aren't you? Yep. Go ahead and show it again, baby. I just got done showing the bottom. Oh, he probably saw it then. He just asked what's on the bottom. It's different. Rare, maybe. I don't know. Might be worth a hundred, might be worth five dollars. I don't have no idea. It's worth whatever it's y'all worth pay 15 for with Nick right now. Whatever they gonna pay for tonight. Ooh, mama, did you see this? 1995 Dodge Viper. What is that with That's the Viper symbol thing you put on something, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's diecast M1 and vehicle. I like that. All right, we got to go, guys. We're at $15 with Nick Bandy. $15 be what he goes, 17 and a half. Going once. I got $15 be what he goes, 17 and a half. Going twice. Got $15 bid. Would you go 17 and a half? Third and final call. I got Nick Bandy in at $15. This is going to be a steal. Got any bids on the phone, baby? I'm dropping the hammer. Not so far. So $15. Woo. That was a deal there, I guess. Nice. All right, up next, real quick, guys, and we gotta, uh, we're got to. we trying to mix a few items in here before we have to go. This is a uh, 1995 Dodge Viper, and it's got the die-cast emblem. That's a die-cast emblem and the vehicle. Pretty nice little item right there. Got a year on it. I don't know. Purity daggum nice there. Got a serial number and all back there. Mm-hmm. 1996. Have a, 1996. It does have a serial number. Issue number one. Is that issue number one? In the red on the top right here. Issue number one. Issue number one. Wow. Wow. Men edition. And yeah, we're at 12 and a half with Bill. 15 with Sammy. 15 with Sammy first, Matt. Needs 17 and a half. Issue number on bottom of vehicle and on back of emblem. Serial number on Melissa's, back of Melissa's at twenty dollars. Package. Wow. Number one. Issue number one. Yeah. That's the that, the serial number though. Which one it, it is on the back of. Uh, and here's your serial number. That's how many they made the serial number. Right it's there. Like the first diecast of them before the. Got Melissa in at twenty. Need twenty two and a half. Racing Champions Mint Edition. Sammy is out to Melissa. Thank you for bidding. Can you see the bottom of the car? Yes. Got a lot of glare going on with the packaging. There it is. I'm going to put a reserve on them and see if I can sell them. They might be worth I know it's late in the night. I bet it's some kind of foreign type. They've got certificates on the bottom. Really? That one had a hundred. No, no that one had three hundred and some dollars. Three eighty five. Three eighty five. I'm telling you. Probably worth all kinds of money. I'll put a reserve on them see if I can move them. Can you see the bottom of the car, Mama? Done showed it to him. Oh, done showed it to him. One fifty five scale. And we're at uh, we're Mike uh, Melissa Clotto's at twenty dollars. 
We need 22 and a half. We got to go. 22, $20, baby, to go 22 and a half. How long has it been up there, Mama? Can we drop it? Matt was looking at the bottom of the car. He may be been here in just a second. a second. Sammy said out to Melissa. Matt is out. All right. They say the serial number is on the back of the package. And on, on the bottom as well. I don't on think the they, bottom is the mint number or issue number. Can you see what that says? Eleven nine zero two. So that would have probably been maybe number two or the nine hundred second one. All right, sold it. <coughs> that was a good deal, anyway, guys. I, the only item that I congrats, Melissa. Oh, good night. We sure do need to be praying for Danny. Prayers for Danny. Temperature of 102. All right, guys, we've got to put a reserve on these. That's heavy. Read that. Read this to him, Mama, what this says. Certificate of Authenticity and Information. This came out of the Atlanta unit. They had almost a $400 price sticker on it, $385. It's got the certificate on the bottom of it, too. Indy's going to read that real quick. This item is made from African ebony craftsmen using traditional tools like adzades, A D Z E S, etc. Spend days giving one, giving each one its own unique design. Some were left plain because of individual taste. A product of Malawi. All right, guys, choice on them, and we are going to have a slight reserve on each one of them because I think these are pretty valuable. Uh, and this price was probably from 20 or 30 years ago. It's got the certificate. Yes. And we've got a $50 starting bid. This one had $400 on it. 385 385 And the one over there had 150 on the bottom of it. And I think I'd price that on there over at the shop, baby. 150 but they're both uh, got that certificate on the bottom of them. This one is where it's a little wore it's off. Sat on its but base, it, but it uh, it says it on India. Got to cover her up. But I want you to look at the uh, work on this, guys. All right, Connie, we sure will. Hey, y'all, be careful, guys, and don't let him be out anywhere until we he finds out for sure. And get him to a doctor for sure. What is ebony? Is it wood? It's ebony wood, yeah. Okay. Just making sure we were allowed to sell it. Yeah, yeah. 65 with Bill. I mean, I'm going to show him the artwork on this one, then you show him on that one, baby. Can we pull this closer? I'm yeah, I'm having a whole mind, yeah. We're just going to cover her up. But look at the artwork. It's all right to show it. 70, out. Matt. Being from Africa, it's all okay. right to... I mean, that's the way they, but I want you to look at the artwork they done. They done this with their original tools, right? It's what it says and this on this is there. solid wood, so that you couldn't yeah. attach it. I mean, you had to No, they the did that out of one piece. Yeah. That's crazy. And we'll get a measurement on here. Yeah, look at it there at the. One foot tall, a little over 12, 12 and a half inches with the on chain, this one. With, with the, the chain. chain, 12 and a half and on this one. This one is what? Here, let me do that. With the chain, it's about four. 15 inches. 15 inches with the chain pulled up. And we're only at $75. Are you doing choice? Yeah, it's, it's going to be choice, but we got a reserve on them. Those other people are like that too. Yeah, we've got some more back here. We're going to see how these goes. 75 with Mildred. Wow. And we don't never put a really high reserve on these guys. How much does this guy weigh? Uh, I don't know if it max it, out it, on that. It probably weighed two or three pounds. Uh, he needs to, he needs to, it probably max it's out. Awesome. We'll see. It'll max out. Definitely. No. 5.54 5. ounces. 
Five ounces? That says five ounces. That'd be that'd be more than that, wouldn't it? She's five five. She's five ounces. Yeah, that's not right. Not right. No. In little scales, eh? it's maxing it out. So it's yeah, it's maxing it out. That's the most that goes I got is you. five ounces. An estimate. I'm gonna say this one weighs about three or four pounds, Memphis Matt, and this one weighs uh, close to two pounds. I'm not really good. I'm really better when I do gold in grams and stuff. I'm not really good with pounds. 80, Bill. But we'll see how these goes, and we've got some more here that was came from the same place. I like this one the best. With the brew. We got that one. And that one there is probably worth the money there, too. We're only at $80, guys. Love the work here. It's like they're slow. They all came out of the same place. All right, eighty dollar be what you go ninety. Eighty dollar be what you go ninety. Got Bill in at eighty dollars. Mildred said she was out. Thank you for your bids. I'm at eighty dollar be what you go eighty five. Going once, guys. What a deal, guys. Well, I know, I know these are worth more than that, but I'm gonna let them roll. Matt, let me know you're out. Or eighty five. We are gonna let them roll. Eighty dollar be when you go eighty five. You're gonna let them roll. I'm gonna let them All roll. All right. We've had them since that Atlanta unit. Some good stuff All right, Memphis Matt. Eighty dollar be when you go eighty five. Going twice. Eighty dollar be when you go eighty five. Wow. Third and final call. It's late at night. And we're going to drop the hammer. Sold it. Bill Horvitz, Dang. 80. And we had just a reason we had a slight reserve on it is I didn't want them selling for $10, 15 $20, something like that. I don't that. even know what they are. <laughs> They're, never seen them. We'll never see them again. No. The lady had good stuff. And Bill takes both of them. Don't blame you a bit there, guys. Mm -mm. Two times to Bill. Two times. What a deal. And I'm going to go ahead and try to move these, Mama. We'll put a little reserve on them. Go ahead and take them stickers off because them were some stickers that I'd put on there. I have no idea. These came out of that same unit. Is her arm broken? It's like separated there. Yes, it did get broken. Yep. But that was neat. This I'd throw it one. in for free. Yeah, we bought these. Yeah, we can throw, we can throw this in for free. That was the best one, too. Charles, did you break <laughs> that? I like this one better. Now, these don't have the certificate. They ain't got the certificate, but they came out of that same uh -huh. unit in Atlanta, Mama. Let me raise that up. This one's cool. Now, this one was the coolest <laughs> one, but it's got damage. It's got the arm broken there. I thought it was cool because she, she was working on something. We're going to put this one up too. I think they are. And we will put a small reserve on these two to protect them. And you know we don't put a high price reserve on them. The one was 385 Yeah. But we're going to – this one I thought was the coolest, but her arm is missing right there. But we're going to put her in it, too, because she might be just cool enough. It don't matter about her arm. All right. This dude is uh, 16 and a quarter inches tall. This one is. They're bidding on choice right now. And a half. And you got to be registered. You What are you doing with this one? I'm going to put it in there, too, because I mean, it might be so rare that it don't matter about the Nine arm. Nine and a quarter inches tall on this one. No, Nine they they don't break. I I don't know how that one got broke so easy. Somebody, somebody, I'm gonna pull this one out, and if we wind up selling them, I'll give this one to somebody. I'm gonna pull it out because it somebody done that bad. They actually had to throw that in. 
or something to get that because that's really hard to break. But I'm gonna show uh, them to is you a little bit. Is this lighter wood still ebony? Yeah. Now, now the lighter wood, it's it, I think it is because see the black down here, the mm -hmm. ebony. Okay. It's like see how the different colors are there. That is cool right there, and it's actually got something sticking out of the back here, like a little bit of hair. Isn't that cool? I'm only at thirty dollars, guys. I wonder if that is somebody's hair. And that one's pretty cool too. And we're at thirty dollars. And choice on the three. The way I do that, I'll guarantee to sell one. We're at $30, Ma, okay? Thank you, Bill. And we are at $30 with Memphis Matt. And those three are really unique and different. And this is some more of that ebony stuff, too, with these elephants, Ma. 35 with Eric. Yeah, it is. That one's been repaired. They were unique there. There ain't been no repairs on real. Choice on them, guys. Guarantee to sell one. Guarantee to sell one. And what'd you order, Christy? What you want? Bread, uh, bacon. They should be here with it. They know where to come, don't they? We're at $35. Where do you go? 40 Guys, we're winding the night down, selling some pretty daggum good items for the end of the night. So we've got more items. We've got to move in here for Thursday night. Been a good auction tonight. I appreciate everybody. Here, that's a warrior with the hair. Missing a spear. Middleman is missing a spear. Oh, a spear. Yeah, it looks like he had a spear or something in his hand. But you can make, make one like that. No, he just seen the hose there. It's got it's got holes in both sides. Uh, not very much, Memphis Matt. There's a few cars in there. Not no red lines or nothing like that. We are going to spin the wheel one last time. We're at $35, guys, and I got to go. Thursday night, Tammy, 7 o'clock Central Time. And Friday night, 7 o'clock Central Time. And then we'll get everything. Uh, hopefully, y'all buy several different items, and we'll get it all rigged up and roared up and ready to roll. Ready to roll. All right. We're at $35. Be able to go 37 and a half. Going once. $35. Be able to go 37 and a half. Going twice. $35. Be able to go 37 and a half. Third and final call. Sold it. Eric Bushman. Eric Bushman. $35. Choice on him. Memphis Matt will be the backup bidder. He will be the backup bidder. That's the only two that bid. Memphis Tall dude Matt. and broke. So this one, no. Oh, this tall one? dude and the broke one, I think, is what Eric said. You didn't have that one offered up. No, but I, I told him that I'd give him, oh, give him okay. that one. I told him that I'd give you that, Eric. Is that the one? I'm giving you this one because you yep. was the first one. Just one time, Becky, because I'm giving him this broke one here, okay? That's what I said, wasn't it? That's what I said. Uh, we was down that way here, uh, what, a month ago at Memphis. Uh, hopefully, we, right now they're saying we can't leave the state. Unless it's for work. Unless yeah, it's, for, it's work. for work. So yeah. we get a unit, we may be back down that way, Memphis, Matt, for sure. 
Odd, uh, you're the uh, backup bidder, at Memphis Matt. We got these two left. Uh, just one time on Eric now, Becky. ACC. And with our 35, you don't have to take them, Matt. <coughs> he may have got the one you wanted. And if Matt don't take it, but I appreciate that offer, Matt. If Matt don't take it, uh, if Matt don't take it, anybody else can have them at 35 apiece. That'd be a deal on them. A great deal. If Memphis Matt don't take them, anybody else that says first can get them at 35 each. Oh, he got the one you wanted. Hey, there's CCC. We've not seen CCCC in a long time. <laughs> See? CCC. We've not seen her in a long time. Hey there, gal. All right, Memphis Matt. Anybody else? Real quick, 35 each. And these are in excellent shape. $35 each. Anybody? Ain't no hole in the walls open or even open now, are there? No, he's talking about when we when everything gets to rolling. Oh, hopefully it's Yeah, soon. I've never ate there. Is that a restaurant holding the wall? Didn't we see that one time we was coming through Memphis? I don't know. Sounds good, Memphis, Matt. When everything gets back to normal, we'll sure be down that way. And surely within the, the end of the year. And I appreciate it. All right, anybody else? $35. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. Anybody else say anything? Nope. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Somebody start me out at $40 for both of them. Woo. $40 for both of them. A $40 bid. Starting bid for both of them. Better yet, just do a buy it now for both of them. $40, you get two of them. $40. Since they got the one they like. For both of them. Anybody says $40, buy it now, right now. Good deal, CC. One of these days when everything gets calmed down, we're going to try to do some central location spots. Anybody buy it now, $40 for both of these. Not 40 each. You're getting 40 for both of them real quick. Buy it now. That way we can move them out of the way. They can get into home before they get damaged anymore. I'll leave them up just for a second. I smell pizza, mama. Bill, 25 <laughs> All right, he's the only one made an offer. Give him a bill, twenty-five dollars. Going and out of here. Wow. Yep. That's why we roll around here. Frugal thirty. Oh. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. We want to do we want to do some of those kind of things. Uh, I didn't think nobody else wanted them. I let them roll the bill. I, I called them sold, guys. I'm sorry, Mark, and I'm sorry, Matt. Now Matt won't want to treat us. I didn't think nobody else wanted them. Bill threw up twenty five, and I just took it. On the Pearl River. Yeah, we're fixing to eat a piece of pizza. Uh, what's my numbers, Becky? I think we're, I'm sorry. Bedtime reminder. Send me my numbers, Becky. We're fixing to spin the wheel. It's been a fun night, almost 11 o'clock here in uh, South Central Kentucky. I uh, want to remind everybody to keep uh, the folks down south. I don't know if you guys, uh, Matt, down there towards Memphis, and CC, you guys had some uh, Sandra, uh, some tornadoes that came down through there the other night, and I think it killed like twenty people. Eleven, I thought it said. Ah, right, Matt, appreciate it. Yeah, Sandra's here. Yeah, Sandra's here. Uh, and CC lives close to Sandra, so those tornadoes came through that area down there, and uh, was it nineteen or twenty that that lost their lives across the south? Uh, when that tornado 
uh, came down through there, and it may have hit down towards Memphis too. I don't know. Mm -mm. I know it did in Sanders area. They were good down in Memphis. Okay, uh, down towards uh, Mississippi. One of the largest employers. Yeah, that's South Carolina. That was when uh, Monday, that's when they all came through, wasn't it? It's about 12 or 14. 12 or 14. Yeah, so we want to remember them in your prayers. I mean, I could tell it in Sandra's just her texting. You know, you, you can't, sometimes you can't translate what somebody's posting or texting, but I can, I could just tell in her texting about it uh, that how scary it was. And usually you can't do that when somebody's texting something. But you, if you're talking to them, you can hear it in their voice. But I could almost see it in her texting how scary it was for her and her family. The power's out down that way. Yeah, that's uh, just terrible, horrible, horrible. So we're going to keep those guys in prayer. Ah, it's been a good night, guys. F3, and I think the one that uh, Saturn and was either uh, F, uh, not F, is it Eth, F, F, that would have the few, Fuga scale. They used to do F. I don't know if they, they've changed it to E or what they did. But. Yeah, F, uh, I think it was F4 or 5 or E5. I thought they called them E5. They are E now. They used to do F. Oh. I think Saturn and was like a 4 or 5. How many items we sell? 70. We 70. Nice. All right, guys, we're going to do the Wheel of Winnie and then eat us some pizza and get out of here and get ready for Thursday night. And before we leave tonight, we are going to have prayers. Thank you, Ricky. EF. Everybody said I was like EF Hutton when I talk, everybody listens. EF, three, four, five. All right. Okay, they they had a that was I thought it was a four. Morris Hogue. Who what? Morris Hogue. Or has coronavirus and is hospitalized. Called a toka. Memphis. Morris Mac. Hogue. I don't think I know him. That sounds familiar. It sounds familiar, yeah. All right, I've got to draw a, a thing here. I'm, I'm reading everybody, trying to get everybody's comments. I'm sorry if I miss what somebody's saying. Let's go ahead and get an item number. You got that, Ricky? Yeah. Lucky number 21. Is that what that is? 21. Item number 21. Morris is Franklin's son. Item 21. I probably know him. If I seen him, Brenda, if I seen him, item number 21, and then Mama, you draw a name, let everybody see yep. that you're, they trust us. We're not looking down in there. We hope, every, we wish everybody could My win. My part is just pulling out one name. One name. We got to redo that to uh, just mainly people that watch online. Ashley Stinson. Ashley Stinson. always winning. <laughs> Ashley Stinson, you or Sammy say you're here. You're leaving these in or out? Oh, wait, but wait a minute. The NASCAR car, wait a minute. Who was it asked a while ago if this ever happened? Tammy, I believe. Oh, it, it's happened right here. Huh. Of course, it's it's a it's a father and a daughter. She always wins. <laughs> this is two or three times actually. Yeah. Uh, and Sammy Stinson and Ashley. You got to say here twice, Sammy. Two so times. it's happened. The chip and the name, guys. The chip and the name. Oh, my goodness. It never has happened. Somebody asked that uh, a while ago. Go ahead and put these names back in there, honey. Somebody asked that that ever happened. And it happened tonight. It might have been Tammy that asked that. Let me get all these names back in there. I think it was there. Tammy. Get all the names back down in oh, there. Oh, Becky Swaggart asked. Here's some more names, baby. Got to get them back down in there. So everybody is staying there. I put all the chips back in there. 
All right, so we're going to spin. <laughs> here you go, Ricky. We're done. Oh, you can't handle that. All right, guys, here we go. And this is for your chip. And, Sammy, I'm going to ask you for the chip. For the chip, I'm asking you, then I'll ask your daughter, and she can answer uh, for you since they're there at the same house. Uh, do you want Do you want twenty dollars in Uncle Jed Bucks or do you want to spend twenty dollars in Uncle Jed Bucks? I know what he's free and clear. Twenty bucks. Twenty Uncle Jed Bucks free and clear. Do you want to spend? Try to win more. Just say take the bucks or spend. Sammy's taking the bucks. He's taking the bucks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what would have happened. Sammy has said he's taking the $20 in Uncle Jed Bucks. He's taking the $20. Let's see what Sammy would have won. Uh oh. Oh, he would have won the $100. He would have won the $100 bill. Oh, my oh goodness. My gosh. Sammy would have won the $100 in Uncle Jed Bucks. <laughs> wow. But he took the 20 instead. Oh, my oh. gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That was exciting. Oh, my God. Oh, but don't worry, Sammy. You got another chance, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. All right, Sammy. That's insane. Sammy, this is, you need to ask your daughter on this one, okay? Sammy, well, you got $20. You took the money in the hand, okay? But now, ask your daughter, Ashley, does she want $20 in Uncle Jed Bucks or does she want to spin the wheel? And I'll give you 10 seconds for her to make up her mind. Da, 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 Twenty. Oh, he's taking the 20. He's taking the 20. All right, we're going to spin again. Sammy, are you sure? <laughs> Ashley, did she say 20? Okay, we're going to spin and see what they would have won again. Well, we land on the $100 again. But Sammy, he's took $40 in Uncle Jed Bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. Yep. That's a pretty good deal. All right, though. Let's do it again. See what he would have got on this spin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, he won it again. He won it again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It landed on it again. You are kidding. Unreal. Oh, my God. Can you believe that? Oh, my goodness. Did they done it twice? Wow. But really, you couldn't have landed on it twice because you would have pulled it the first no, time. No, no, he uh, didn't take it the first time, so it would have been. I'm just saying, if it would have, won, I know, then it couldn't again. But oh if he had God. said, if he had said spin, he would have got the hundred because it would have still been up there. <laughs> oh my God! Wow! <laughs> but Sammy, you won forty dollars. Uh, you and Ashley together, forty dollars in Uncle Jed bucks. Nothing to sneeze at. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> y'all watch it. That wheel is not set up. Yeah. No, it won't. I did twice in a row, Becky. And if, if Sammy had a tuck it, that $100 bill wouldn't have been up there the first time anyway. Because we would have tucked that down. If he had a tuck it the first time, so... But he would have got it the second time if Ashley just said spin, they would have won it. Wow. Pretty daggum good. That is that made my night. <laughs> Not that you didn't win. It just it was exciting. Don't y'all think it was exciting? I thought it was exciting. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna have more fun Thursday night, guys. Mama, could you get me a little coke in that? All right, guys, we're going to do a prayer.
Uh, it's actually uh, actually on India's side. No, I haven't got any straight razors right now. But that's about what that's worth, I think, Matt. It's been a fun night. We had a lot. Did y'all have fun? Sammy, you had fun, you and Ashley. Uh, 40 bucks ain't nothing to sneeze at, ain't Uncle Jay, because you probably spent that much tonight. Wow. Twice in a row. Twice in a row. That was, I got to go rewatch that. But anyway, we're going to do a prayer, guys. Uh, praying for all the sick. And uh, Morris Hogue, uh, Brenda Spears mentioned that a while ago. A uh, lot, lot of the same stuff, more Star Wars items. Uh, we got a bunch of that. We got to mix in, Matt. Uh, probably mix a little bit more in Thursday night, along with other items, more jewelry and things like that. It's been a lot of fun, I'll tell you all that for sure. Uh, we got a few coins and some, a few nice for Bill, maybe. And there, I just said nice. <coughs> I need to quit smoking. I'm, I'm trying to quit smoking, guys. I've not got a COVID cough. Every time I've turned the mic off, I've coughed because of smoking. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Mildred Craft Supplies. Uh, I'll have Andy to remind me of that. Yeah, we had a, a, a fellow uh, that passed away this morning of cardiac arrest. Really young person. And uh, we want to say a prayer for his... Uh, uh, the mother of his kids, uh, Joe, and uh, those little children, uh, for and for their family. Was his mom and dad still living? His mom is deceased, but his dad's still living. His dad's still living, and and the whole family. Uh, tragic. He was just in his thirties, wasn't he? But saying prayer for them, and we'll, we'll say a prayer for. Uh, uh, different ones that uh, Sammy uh said that him and uh Jeremy had worked together, and Jeremy uh, uh used to come around uh, the our auctions a whole lot when him and Joe was together. I hear you, Memphis. Yes. All right, guys, uh, let's just everybody pray for each other and pray together. Uh, the Sumitomo plant, they're saying it is opening back up. I think they had another case at Dollar General uh, that we need to pray about, and they shut down for another 24 hours. They may wind up having to shut down a couple of weeks. I don't know. The Sumitomo is going back. That's what Becky is saying. Uh, when are they starting back, Becky? They're starting back up. And hopefully uh, we can get a... Uh, well, this is a family show, Dominique. Yeah, we don't allow that language here. They went back tonight, so hopefully everybody's safe and COVID-free and all that. So let's, uh, Nathan, uh, Niblet's wife, Tammy and five kids. He was only 47. Is that the one over at Franklin that passed away? Connie. I think that was one over at Franklin. Yeah, a lot of people's out of work and a lot of people's not got a job right now. So hopefully everybody get their stimulus tonight and it'll help you a little bit. It helped people uh, quite a bit, I guess. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah, my daughter was the teacher of one of those uh, kids. Uh, so it's a very sad, sad situation there. That's very young. So the virus is not knowing, you know, ages or anything like that. 
Oh, Tammy is your stepdaughter. Okay, Connie. We certainly pray for them. All right. We'll go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. And John, yeah, uh, we uh, Vanis has been wanting to go. We'll we'll do a uh, let several people go with us when we think we've got a really good unit and have some fun together. All right, let's go. Everybody, look there at my hair tonight. Pray for my hair. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the Lord in prayer, guys. Everybody bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we're coming to you tonight, thanking you for another great night, Lord. Just a good company, God. and. Uh, everybody just tonight, it just uh, seemed like there was just a good spirit of a, of a friendship and family, uh, people trying to forget about all this negative uh, stuff that's going on around us and all the, uh, the gloom and doom that it seems to be on the news every day. So we got a little break tonight, God, by being here at the auction, me and India did, and uh, Ricky and Christy and Charles and Becky and everybody that watched tonight. So we're thankful that you blessed us tonight. And now, God, we pray uh, for Jeremy Mars' family, Joe and all those kids and the family. God, that you would just comfort them. And also the uh, the the 47-year-old over at Franklin, uh, Tammy, I think there was four or five kids, God. Uh, something unexpected like this virus takes somebody away. We pray, Lord, that you would comfort them in the only way that you know how to do. Because God, we can say things to them, and it seems like it don't help. But you can you can speak to their heart and let them find some comfort, Lord, in this time that they're facing right now with uh, losing a dad, losing a husband. Same thing with Jeremy and other people that's lost loved ones with to this COVID virus. And God, we pray for uh, Morris Ho, uh, the one that Brenda Spears talked about having a. Uh, COVID, God, that you'll heal them. And and we pray, God, that this virus would just be lifted. God, that you'd send a warm air or whatever it would take to kill this virus off. And that we know you can do it, Lord. Uh, we know that you can perform a miracle. And God, that you could just blow one little breath. And God, it would blow all this virus off the face of the earth. And we'd be eternally grateful for you, God. And we wouldn't take so many things for granted. We've took a lot of things for granted in the past. And, and now with something like this happening, Lord, all those things we took for granted, it's gone for right now. We don't know when we'll get to enjoy some of those things again. So we're asking for healing God and that this virus will be wiped off the face of this earth. God, watch over everybody tonight. Let them have a good night's sleep. And God, let them have some really good dreams tonight. No nightmares, nothing like that. And until we meet again here Thursday night, we love you, Lord, and in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says amen and amen. And if I forgot anything, uh, God knows all about it. <laughs> what, God tell you that, Sammy? You supposed to be praying. You were supposed to be looking at my head, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy's supposed to be praying. You weren't supposed to be looking at my head. <laughs> he said I needed some wax on that head. <laughs> and guys, Thursday night we will do the twist. I didn't do it tonight. We will Thursday night. I was supposed to have done it tonight. I'm sorry. But we'll see everybody Thursday night, 7 o'clock, same time, same channel. And if you do get to Fillin' Blue, put on some chubby checker and do the twist like Uncle Jed would. Yay for Sandra. They got their power back and water back on. That means a lot of people in that area has. See how God's answering prayers already. All right, good night, everybody. <laughs>